Start the recording. I, I, I just, I just did. I just did. <laughs> now the first thing they're going to hear is start the recording. Intro. Intro. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is the Uncommon Guru. Uh, we we decided we were going to have a little bit of fun. We wanted to see uh, just how survivable uh, a bunch of people can be if everyone has at least one method to do a heal at least once a day. Uh, so here we are. Um, as you can see, uh, we have a, a lovely drawing here by uh, our lovely Emmy. Say hi, Emmy. It's not. Uh, hi. She is uh, drawn uh, Praise the Sun. Uh, yeah, we're uh, going to go straight into jumping into the actual story without uh, uh, saying who we ourselves? are and whatnot. Nope, nope. Nope, we're going to go straight into the, to everything. To be fair, I'm going to clarify, they will have the ability to heal, not necessarily Eventually. Like yes, yeah, eventually they'll get it. Oh. Um, but yes, uh, we're starting at level 2 for anyone who is interested in knowing that information, because I wanted to see how it feel to you know, take a little bit more time, because last time I tried to start at level 2, I let people just kind of quickly spiral to level 4 before realizing, I need to pull on the brakes a little bit, but that's on me, I'm the DM, I'm allowed to make mistakes, because I'm I'm a professional idiot, thank you very much. <laughs> but anyways, you guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Uh, sure. I'm ready. Why is the person uh, Because praise the sun, obviously. Anyways. <laughs> In the vein of, uh, for everyone who is going to be seeing this, I'm actually going to be posting this, uh, I believe tomorrow's Christmas Eve, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, it's gift. Yes, I'm going to be uh, posting this tomorrow. So, uh, normally I'd wait, uh, I'd wait 48 hours before. Actually, I could, I could post Hanukkah. this on Christmas. Merry Kwanzaa. If you, see, if you see the time date of this saying that it's on Christmas, I lied and I posted it on Christmas instead, and I apologize. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, in lieu of the fact that this will be posted on or before Christmas, let's get started. Winter is a cold time of the year, regardless of where you are in Victions. However, it is also a time when people seem to get the most festive. In the little town of Farside, you guys have all gathered together in your own respects and reasons but you've also been kind of grabbed up and dragged into some of the festivities amongst which uh, there is a uh, white birch gifting where people are given just a randomly wrapped gift made by various people of the community and put into little groups uh, kind of just randomly selected all of you are currently sitting at a circular table uh, in the middle of town square where there are a bunch of lanterns that are lit to help give some warmth and illumination so that you're not totally out in the cold at the moment. Uh, you're all bundled up in winter clothing to keep yourselves warm. Uh, but you're all seated at this table. Uh, all of you have been given uh, a different, uh, very obscurely wrapped gift to prevent it from being immediately known what it is. But you're all sitting at the table looking at one another. Uh, who would like to start with describing themselves? Let's do Discord order, shall we? We're all <laughs> absolutely, so no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. I love Licking. how that's set you in. Go first. Ha -ha. I guess so. I guess mm -hmm. so I go go ahead and describe, just describe yourself. Just right. a description of what you look like. I am a very tall, barra bitty man. <laughs> barra bitty? <laughs> uh. I would be decked in armor usually, but right now, since it's winter and I'm very prone to cold i'm bundled up in cute winter clothing i have long white hair that's bundled up in a bun at the moment and i have very dark dusty black skin and dark eyes that show that i don't have a soul <laughs> <laughs> I, I you don't have red hair or i don't <laughs> oh goodness Paris? Oh man, why couldn't you be ready? <laughs> no, he's he's not part of this. He's just listening. <laughs> um, I am a obviously short in stature. Why would I be anything else? Human <laughs> with a pixie cut, and normally what you would be able to see is farmer's hand, but currently she's bundled up and curled up, shivering. She don't do well in the cold. Uh, her eyes are in icy blue but 
even freezing, she still looks like she's having the time of her life. She's a joyful person. That's about it. <laughs> Letters. Okay. Well, my boy is a boy, human boy, tan-skinned human boy. Dreadlocks. He got the dreadlocks going uh, about a little bit longer than uh, shoulder height. Little beads of different colors, like red, green, and bluish type colors. Uh, wearing straps of leathers across his chest, but still, it may be freezing. He's still not wearing much. He's wearing like some back, like some baggier, like kind of close to parachute pants, kind of, mm-hmm. with some tribal tattoos. Which the main one is uh, an octopus with only seven tentacles sprouting all over oh. his body. Where is the ace? Nips a little hard to the cold. <laughs> like it's cold. Uh, not snowing. Thankfully, otherwise it'd be much colder. But it is still quite cold. That's the best I got. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, a uh, point of order: uh, behind our, our cold and smiling uh, little lady, Paris, uh, there is a uh, a metallic Drake who is curled up behind her uh, with uh, leathers that have been clearly crafted into some form of saddle. Uh, and th- th- he seems to be having this like this coy little smile as he watches you all with a, a big bushy scarf and a little hat. That's precious. Uh, the hat was something that was given uh, shortly after you came in when one of the kids asked if um, the dragon, no, no, sorry, not the dragon, the drake, uh, was helping to, was one of the new recruits to help pull Santa's sleigh because obviously it doesn't have wings, it must be sent by Santa. Oh, God. <laughs> and so they gave him a little hat just in case. That is adorable. Uh, but yes, uh, so you guys can begin talking to one another. Uh, all of you have a gift, and there is another uh, person at the table. Um, they are a gnome. Uh, they just barely are able to pull themselves up high enough to actually peek over the side of it. They're only three feet tall, and they've got a little booster that they're sitting on to make sure they can speak with everyone at the moment. Uh, they've got curly red hair, big grin, and uh, very festive blue and white jacket that looks like uh, every time they move it looks like there's like little bells that should be tinkling that aren't making any noise but they're just kind of clapping as they've got a gift as well and they're like alright uh, do, uh, do we pass to the left or to the right which, which way do we want to go mm-hmm. I'll pass mine to anyone uh, we do know each other right you guys have uh, you guys have talked to each other before. You guys don't know each other's names. This is like the first actual time you've been able to sit down and talk. Ah, uh, good. Let's see this passage to the right. To the right, okay. Uh, so I'm just going to just point of order. Let me just put in the uh, order real quick. So if we go... So if you're passing it to the right, just go to the right with that. So Emmy would be passing to Paris, Paris to Butters, Butters to the gnome, gnome to, gnome to Emmy. All right, cool. I'll uh, I'll slowly pass mine over. Here you go, little buddy. <laughs> ah, thank, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, should we open it now or should we pass it across? Let's pass it across there. That's he, a the uh, he slides his over to Paris, uh, Butters to Emmy, Emmy to Butters. Keep tra- I'm having to oh. keep track of this. I actually have little, little <laughs> gifts in here. Little gifts. All right. My character just slides hers hmm. over, just like I, here. Are, are you cold? Do you need to? Do you need to sit closer to the lantern? Maybe. Uh, we can. Uh, if, I think we can. If everyone, if DK, like he gets I'm down, he's like you hear him like shoving at the table. Just. Move it a little. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hang on. I have an idea. She's gonna whistle and call her Drake onto her lap. I'm they... assuming mm-hmm. it's inherently warm. <laughs> uh, not particularly. It's metallic. It, 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 it's, it's metallic. Fire. It's a metallic, but there is a little bit of extra warmth to it. Uh, you did mention that it is copper scaled, so it is not exceptionally warm. But it moves over, boom, boom, moves over, and just kind of curls around you. Just head, big, big old boofing head, just thump, right in your lap. Oh. <laughs> she just holds on to it. Just 
nuzzles into your stomach. Just oof. that's a big boy there. Thank you. He's a little usual. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with being a little special. <laughs> I can't. Get ready for a whole campaign of this campaign. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I just, I, I was trying to hold it. It, it wasn't happening. <laughs> no. So we passed around our gifts, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Can I examine the packaging of mine before I open it? Yeah. Um, just quickly, just kind of turning it over. Uh, you can tell each one of them is wrapped a little bit differently. Uh, probably dependent on who may have wrapped it. Uh, the one that has been passed to you from Butter's hands uh, looks to be uh, very messily wrapped. It's still in the like little box to you know, again to obfuscate what might be inside of it. Uh, but based off of how many pieces of uh, adhesive, how many pieces of paper on there, probably a child was asked to wrap this and did their best, but based off the fact that their bow is a little lopsided with one side like huge compared to the other, uh, they they just need a little bit of extra t training before they do this again. All right, I'm gonna carefully open it. Okay. By all means, you first. Yep. You pull on it. It take you have to actually dig in and rip at some of it because it is <laughs> it is so heavily taped that it's not like you can just pop a few though. You have to actually rip at oh. this. Oh god, I'm having flashbacks. So my aunt wraps gifts. <laughs> That's how uh, I wrap gifts. It's like ninety percent tape. Yeah, it, it is nine. This is ninety percent tape. <laughs> uh, as you rip it open, you uh, pull out this uh, almost a complete contrast to the paper is an ornately crafted uh, box. It no, nothing like special, not like mm. silver or anything, but it is carved with clear. Uh, time and effort that was put into the wood carving of this with a little latch on it. Uh, the top of it is a mural of uh, a, a being holding out their arms with uh, snowflakes carving, carved around them looking like they're coming off of this entity. A being? A being. Oh, a, I thought you said a bean, like a little baked bean. Like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> B-E-I-N-G, -E not B-E-A-N. Okay. Uh, it's a box. Like, is there any way to open it, or is that just yeah, like... it's just like one of those little, like, uh, you push it in, it just unclaps. So just, All right, just nothing inside of it. Do you open it? Yes. Okay. You open it up. You... Uh, inside of there is a, a flute. Uh, it is made out of very, very nicely varnished wood very smooth from the look of it with tiny little etchings all around it making it look quite festive what an interesting gift thank you mm. no one looks at everyone what's your next uh you, I'll go next uh, all me, yeah <clears throat> you uh, uh your gift my... just looking it over just real quick you just get a glance Meticulous. Someone probably measured this to the dot. Jesus fucking Christ! Like, the tape is exact on it. You almost don't even realize there is tape on it at a glance until you look a little close and see the little sheen of it. It is, so Whoever put this on, they wanted to make sure this was perfect. Millie's really looking torn between just tearing into it and just, like, trying to very carefully undo the paper. Actually, you know what? I think I'm... <laughs> First roll. Let's see what the hell I do. <laughs> okay, yeah. She's going to just, like, very carefully untape everything. <laughs> okay, so you, you take your time with it. it. It probably takes you a good, say, minute and a half. Just to make sure you're just very carefully. At a certain points, you're like, oh, it's straining too much. And then you... Oh, okay, good. Uh, you get it out, and you kind of have to rustle with it to pull it out. It's... It's tightly packed in there, but pulling out a few extra pieces of tape, you pull it out, and it is also a box. Uh, this one is not as starkly contrasted. Uh, this one also has a lovely engraving upon it. Uh, a little bit longer than the uh, one that Emmy's character got. 
Oh. Oven. You oven, oven, oven. You, you <laughs> open it up, and it is a uh, a very simple, uh, but very nicely crafted short sword. <laughs> uh, it's got uh, patterns that have been clearly stamped into the blade to tr prevent it from being more fragile, uh, but also to give it a look as though uh, there are snowflakes running up the fuller of the blade. <laughs> So someone, someone took the time to engrave little snowflake patterns that run up the, uh, the hilt is quite nicely wrapped up with a, at the pommel. Uh, there is a, a circular portion of it that also has a snowflake engraved into it. I love it. She's going to fix her up and hog it. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, weapons, yes! You, Mr. Short Man, by all means, go before. Oops, yeah, sure. Uh, he pulls it up. His is moderately wrapped. It looks like a... Um, his had a little bit too little paper on it. Uh, you can see some of the wood sticking through, but because of the fact that it is in wood, that makes it a little easier to know. You're not going to know what it is until you open it. Uh, he rips into it. He throws it up, then immediately leans back, catches it. Oh, no littering. Sets it back down. Oh, that's, I don't want to do that. Clips it open. Oh, man, that's nice. He pulls out a pair of... Uh, rose-tinted bifocals. Kind of looks over, oh. puts them on, blinks, and his eyes like look a little, just a little bit bigger behind it. He just blinks. Bing, bing. How do I look? Looks, it looked good on your mom. You look wonderful. He gives a thumbs up. Thanks! I'm gonna be a hit with the ladies. <laughs> okay, you, you next, you next. Oh, by all means. And he'll, uh, <laughs> he'll try to conserve the wrapping paper. It's a lot. You've got the one where someone clearly wrapped it, and then wrapped it again, because they weren't sure if they wrapped it up, and then it may have wrapped it again. So you're just, like, opening up, and then you see more paper underneath. More, He'll more, take more. his time. Yeah. Probably takes you a good two and a half minutes of just watching you just pull at it, just making try it. Again, trying to conserve it, but at the same time, they they use a lot of paper on this. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, while he's peeling, he looks up and goes, Oh, by the way, I'm Batalin. Nice to meet you all. Call me Millie. Nice to meet you, Millie. I'm Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell. Got it. Good to know. Uh, I'm, a. Uh, I'm, a. Uh, I'm, sh I'm shaking. It's, you, it's spelled different than it sounds, I promise. You're oh, not, okay. Uh, oh, I thought you were just chilling. No, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm shaking. I'm gonna, I'm, okay. I'll, I'll spell it out. It's a, it's a C- H, yeah, that's where people. It, it's that pronounced with an S H, but it's C H. I'll, I'll hold on. Uh, C H A K K E N. Shaken. No. Okay. Understood. Thank you, Vaclero. Yeah, no worries. It, it, it's people, they they always spell it wrong, and then I have to ask for them to give me a, a, a cup with my name spelled right, and then it, it just gets into a big hullabaloo, and, you know. Starbucks is a struggle. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Suck. Uh, yeah, you, you you learn to live with it. Uh, your box, by the way, uh, Batal. You open it up. There's a box in there. Uh, it's a little smaller, but uh, you can just from sh like shifting it, you hear a little bit of a from within it. You kind of, I'm guessing, a little curious, and you kind of pop it open, lift it up, and it is a potion of healing. Oh, you shouldn't have. So mark down that you have a potion of healing. Yeah, I, the um, the alchemist over there, uh, he he doesn't make a lot of them because getting the supplies from him can be kind of you know, costly. Uh, but uh, he wanted to give at least a few few potions just in case you know you you meet with people and you know people you know they tend to go into places they shouldn't. You know, you, kinda, you, know, you know how it is. But uh, uh -oh. where's the alchemist? Uh, he's kind of looks around. <clears throat> I guess he's out of town because I don't see him in. The, I mean, oh. actually, he may he may he may be closing up shop. Actually, it's a it's a cold day. You know how it is. I have to go try to find him so I can give him a hug. This was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> I can uh, I can lead you over there if you want. Uh, you you fine here, uh, sir, ma'am. I'm fine. Drake. I'll take that as a yes. Is that a yes? Please tell me that's a yes. I think that's a yes. Oh good. As 
Yeah, yeah. Talon stands up, he pats the Drake on the head, then uh, just follows. It nuzzles your hand. It, it's clearly friendly enough. There's like, oh. <laughs> he's a good boy. I think he knows. <laughs> So you are led by this uh, this little gnome. He's got a little skip in his step. Uh, you're not super familiar with many gnomes, uh, but from the way that they're springy and stridy, they seem to be a friendly sort. Uh, going down into one of the side streets, kind of passing by a few of the other different tables uh, where you see a, a wide slew of different people. Uh, it seems this type of area has uh, a few resident furbolks who have come in and they've brought in like a, a big tree that they've that they're setting up as basically like a little uh, Christmas tree where they've uh, hung a little bit of ornamentation on it to make it look festive uh, as well a few others are bringing in some uh, very old dead uh, dry wood to set up for it looks like a bonfire for later tonight uh, as you make your way down uh, you see uh, a little shop that looks like it's got a uh, I never said that <laughs> Christmas, man. I know. I'm, I'm using Christmas because, you know, that that's what you guys will relate to it. Uh, if you guys want the actual name of it, uh, it's the Winter Harvest Festival. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's like Stardew Valley. Yeah. Aww. It's, like Va- Aww. it's the Winter Harvest Festival. <laughs> Sorry, type into someone else real quick. Let them know things going on. Uh, but as you make your way down, uh, still having a good time, uh, you see a cheerily crafted looking little business that is uh, a image of a person with uh, a beard that is sticking out clearly as though something blew up in their face, kind of comedy style. And with holding two beakers in their hand. Oh, are you the alchemist? Uh, no, no, I'm saying that's the sign of the shop. This is the alchemist oh, shop. Uh, no, peeking inside, it says closed, and you don't see anyone in there. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, he's, he's probably going to be around back soon. Uh, he's, you know, he's a, he's a busy man. You know, there's a lot of stuff of going on. Do you have a piece of paper? Paper? Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, he reaches and he pulls that piece of paper and he offers it to you. He's going to write just a quick thank you note. He takes it and he kind of just slips it in between the doors. Hit. There you go. Stick about halfway out uh, just so it's you know stuck in there. Uh, turning around, he's like, okay, do uh, you want to go back? I, I hear they're um, bringing out some different foods. I hear that uh, Miss Cornway makes the best figgy pudding. Oh, I'd love to. Let us be off, then. All right, let's go. Uh, he motions, and he gets a little hop, skip, and jump back. Uh, while that's going on, is there anything you two wanted to do while uh, this is going on? Honestly, I'm just looking at the weapon and trying to see... Yeah, my boy's just all over it. <laughs> yep, you're trying to look see if there's what? See if there's anything special about it. Well, other than the engraving. <laughs> uh, roll an investigation check. Can I roll investigation? <laughs> you, may, you, you may as well. Uh, looking it over, uh, you're just like, this is so cool. Oh. It's so pretty. Hold on, sorry. Let me change that. No. It's <laughs> my first official roll in the campaign. My first you're, official you're second. Two. You're se- I mean, your first one that I told you to, to roll. Yeah, that's why I said official. Yeah. <laughs> This is not bode well. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. It it is a gorgeous sword, and you're just like, instead of you know, at first you're like, I need to look and see if there's any arcane properties. Oh, this is so beautiful. You're running your fingers around the snowflakes, like, oh, they got little details in it. There's little dots, and oh, look at that, it sparkles. Oh. She's just showing it to her. Like, look at it, it's so pretty. <laughs> Licks it. Oh, and Emmy's character will notice she's not speaking English while talking to the Drake. 
Uh, he's speaking what? draconic to it, if you can okay. recognize that. <laughs> uh, he, seems, nope. he seems to perk up more when you speak draconic. No, I know the guard drink does. I mean, her character. <laughs> um, can I try to quietly play it so I don't cause a scene? Roll Even a... though it's a fucking flute? Roll, roll a performance check. Well, you're able to play it without uh, causing too much of a ruckus. Uh, it's you're not the best with the. Fl Are you proficient with the flute? Nope. Okay. It, 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 there's a few points where it's like this, like this sharp little toot, and you're like, Oop. okay, look around, and you know, no one's really seeming to be down on it. Uh, in the distance, you hear someone else go, "I got a flute!" Toot! And you're just like, "Oh no, a kid got a hold of one." <laughs> oh, you play the flute. Hmm. Do you play? I never really play the flute, but I do play another instrument. Oh, I actually play the flute. Uh, do you want to play after this is all over? I suppose. <laughs> the drake kind of nudges into your stomach. Just... Hey, you like it. There's a reason that we perform. He, he kind of turns like he's trying to roll over, but he's clearly, there's no space for him to do so. He's like waving his arms on, it, on his side. Not with that tusk on his face, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Alas, he can never roll over. <laughs> he, he, could, he could roll over. Uh, he, he doesn't actually have the, um, the same tusk as in the image that you saw. Oh, thank uh, God. He, he's based off a copper dragon, as we've <clears> discussed. <throat> so he's not based off the blue one that most art depicts. I'm actually going to see about describing it to you, just so that you're oh. aware real quick. Also, I would like to point out that he's not actually, like, playing a song or anything. He's, like, playing each note individually very slowly to see if he can understand, like, how it works and mm -hmm. the different sounds of the notes and such. Of course. <laughs> uh, it, it's definitely interesting. Uh, it's going to take you some time to actually, you know, get some, get some more playing time with it to see what all notes you can pull up. Uh, actually, I pulled up the Copper Dragon description just to see. Uh, he doesn't have the nose spike, but above his eyebrows, he does have two like horns that come from his eyebrows back, so those are probably making it a little hard for him to roll over. Just a Two on bit. each side or two in total? Two in total. One over each eye. Okay. Uh, with little frills down the side of his face. So, kind of like, not exactly, but kind of like bull's horns. Or ox's uh, horns. But going backwards. Oh, okay. So they don't like come outward like a bull's horns. They go back, uh, kind of like more like uh, goat horns, but not like wrapping around. They just go straight back. Oh, got it. They're actually, the ones that wrap around are rams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and in response to one of the things in the chat, because that I was waiting for someone to notice that, um, you hear you hear in the distance. What's that you got there, honey? A sword? No. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> As you see, uh, a frightened mother taking the sword from a child who's trying to run off with it because you think they got that sword fair and square, but at the same time, apparently no. uh, someone didn't check to see if the sword was going to a table with children at it. Oh, ripperoni. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to give the children swords. That that was not supposed to be at their table, but in the spirit of the holiday, I I figured it would be only proper to meme a little. Billy's going to get up and walk over to that table. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see the woman, she's got the sword. She's like, no, don't, you're not supposed to have that. But I got it. was my present. You can have my present, but you got a bottle. Yes, I know, but it's a good bottle. It'll make you feel good if you get hurt. It's going to help you. Oh, hello there, miss. How may I Hi. Hi. I just heard screaming <laughs> about a sword. Yes, I. she has a sword. Uh. Hers is a little bit different than yours. Uh, it looks like there's a uh, a tree pattern, that, or a vine pattern with uh, different tree sprouts coming off of it, that is engraved into the sword. She kind of just sets it down on the table, and the kid's like reaching towards it, and the you just see this thick bearded burly man just slowly reach up and slide the kid back, just like listen to your mother. Yeah, you might want to put the sword down, little man. You're not old enough just yet. <laughs> I well, think about it. it. Think about it. Your mom can keep it, and then once you get older, you could actually use it. You, you, you just don't like, know how to use it yet, do you? 
His, his, his arms are crossed as he's glaring up at you, and he throws his arms in the air. I guess! <laughs> crosses his arms again, just... <laughs> and the, the man just kind of... <laughs> Would it make oh. you feel better if you got another gift? He kind of, like, slowly peeks up. What kind of gift? Well, a bunch of the other kids are talking. My friend here might be enlisted by Santa. Would you like a ride on him? All, Santa, all, quote all, unquote. Uh, yeah, no, his name is still Santa. <laughs> uh, his, his eyes go wide. All of a sudden, you see all his tension just kind of drop away. He slowly leans over and he sees the this big thump, 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 this big boy. He's like, <gasps> "Can I?" Looks over to his mom. His mom's just a little bit worried. She kind of looks. Is he, is he well trained? Of course. Ah, yawns widely. Big old teeth showing. And he, <laughs> shakes his head like a dog. Don't worry, he's very well trained. <laughs> he sticks his tongue out at her. Mm. <laughs> Though he has a bit of an attitude. Does he do the little flip like a cat does? Just yes. like the tongue's barely sh- Little blep. Yes. Little blep. Little blep, and then he, he chuckles when uh, she says it. Just... <laughs> Alright. Just, uh, just around just around the, the area, okay? Just don't leave my sight, please. I'll be okay, Mom. He just runs over. Can, can I, can I, can I? You just, you just see the dragon just kind of roll its eyes and just get down and just, like, look over. Just like, hop on, hop on. She's going to lift him onto the saddle. Yep, and he slides himself back up, just stretches out, and he's like, whoa. He, he waits for the kid to grab hold of the saddle, horn to, you know, not be taken off. And then he does, he does a little, he does a very... Very um, very fancy little saunter, just just his shoulders popping from side to side as he's walking, and the kid's just going back and forth like wee. <laughs> and you, you see some of the other kids just like running behind it, just like oh my, oh my gosh, it's like a drag, it's a drag. He's like I'm gonna see Santa. <laughs> just, just just getting. <laughs> Taken around by this little dragon. It's so pure, what the fuck. Billy's that... kind of like saying a few orders in Draconic. If he ever like goes where she thinks he probably shouldn't walk. <laughs> he, he's tricks, tricksy as he may be. He is uh, he is well trained, and he's just kind of like he huffs at one point when he's like he wants to you know, go parading down one of the streets, and when you're like ah that, and he's like oh fine. So <laughs> he keeps walking around the central area, and the, the lady kind of looks over. He's like. Thank, thank you for that. I, he, he's a good boy, but I, I didn't expect them to, you know, get get this. That's a, a rather. That's not a mix-up you want to make. You just hear a man in the yeah. distance. Oh boy, I got new shoes, and he's got like, these tiny little booties on his in his hands, and just like yeah. Oh, oh my god, I, I love that I man. Gift would. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man. Uh, it's no trouble, miss. Uh, she kind of looks over at the man, just like slowly sighs, and just like. He's gonna need to come to the cobblers to. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Miss Cornway. She holds out a hand to you. She shakes her hand. Uh, Call by me this, Millie. Yep. Uh, by the way, by this time, um, Batalin, you are back, and you you just see this this Drake with this crazy ass saunter just w- marching right in front of you with a gaggle of kids behind it. <laughs> and it kind of looks at you, winks, and just like, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm, I know, I'm good looking. <laughs> yeah. I know, I'm hot. I know. <laughs> I'm sexy. I just, I, I do scratch the Drake and I try to scratch him in that, like, you know, perfect spot of a dog. But I want to do it for, like, a dragon. You you see his front paw just. And as soon as you do that, like, four other kids kind of swarm up and start scratching him behind his frills and stuff. And you see his, his back late. Eventually, all, his leg is I going to be I imagine they're close enough in uh, body to the Talazi uh, dragon. Uh, how hmm. big? I don't know. Uh, no, I'm, I'm asking if that was what you said. He said I, I imagine they're similar in like in body size and like shape to the Talazi dragons for him to be able to know just where to. Uh, they're similar. Uh, Talazi dragons are a little bit smaller, uh, just uh, because uh, their faces are more streamlined, more snakeish. Uh, uh, does this good little Drake boy or big Drake boy uh, ever walk by me? Because if he does, I'm gonna give him a little pat on the head while he I'm still trying to figure out the flute stuff. Yep. And like, he just hmm? yeah. Okay, uh, everybody, I'd like to teach you a little something. Come here. 
Oh lord. That's the kids. <laughs> good. Everybody. Okay. Uh, a few people kind of look at you. They're not like coming over, but all the kids that you've you've, you've taught you've them collected to collect the dragon. The children are here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to motion for you two to come as well. Billy will follow. She's curious. Uh, on the way here, he grabbed about a good six to seven sticks, like okay, decently sized, like to about a quarter staff in length. Okay, and he'll just hand them to people and say, "I'm going to teach you how to do a Telazi dance." Ooh. Are you doing what I think you are? He is just going to teach you how to do a basic tribal war dance, basically, which is involves a lot of like spinning the stick and stomping. Uh, the kids are all about this. They're just right. like, uh, sticks and stomping. Sticks and <laughs> stomping. Shit. Yeah. That's they, they, shit. Uh, what? Like you have to, you have to quickly space them out because one of them, as soon as like you're, you say stomping, they immediately just stomp, 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 and one of the kids <laughs> is like about ready to spin the stick, almost hit someone in the head. It's he knows how to handle kids. Like He's excited. Fucking, mm -hmm. It's literally like the fucking Mulan song where the kid almost swats two of the people on her side because you can't see. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. So, You're yeah, now he... Milan in my head. This is not gonna leave. <laughs> uh, except he's a a big man with uh, a big dreadlocks. dark skin male. <laughs> yeah. uh, when when you come over, uh, one of the kids kind of tugs at your uh, tugs at your pant leg, just like, "What's your name, Miss?" Oh, it's Mildred, but everyone calls me Millie because that is an old lady name. Hi, Millie. And it waves. Are you going to swing with us, too? I can certainly try. Yay! He, he like, picks up his stick. He just runs over. M Millie's going to play with us. But I'm Millie. You just see this other little girl with big pigtails, big green eyes, just look over, just like, <gasps> Sister. Runs over and hugs <laughs> your leg. She's like, oh, so exactly. same name, the mom, sisters. The dad. And the grandpa, because uh, <laughs> Weeping Bell is still not over there. <laughs> Weeping Bell is just watching from a distance. Yeah. Uh, the gnome has uh, kind of slid away. He's not dancing either. He just kind of slides up next to you, just like, well, that. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but that looks like it's fun. But uh, <clears throat> I, I, I don't need to get smacked in the head. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm. No man is rightfully afraid of children I'm with just, sticks. <laughs> I'm just not much of a dancer. I mean, you know, it, it depends. Some people are better dancers than others. I mean, I mean, to be fair, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm pretty good at a jig myself. I just, uh, <laughs> I run out of breath pretty quick. Uh, that is understandable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you guys, are 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 you all? You know, together. I mean, y'all you, were kind of brought to the same table. I mean, sometimes they just grab travelers on a whim, but uh, they're gonna be having uh, some good foods and whatnot. Uh, Miss Cornwall makes the best fake pudding. Oh, I, it's why I come here. Actually, <laughs> it's so good. I'm sure that is very good. Yeah, uh, it's, it's actually um uh, a special that's gonna be going, coming out pretty quick. Uh, he kind of looks towards the sun. He's just like ah, close soon. Yeah, soon. Uh, there's there's gonna be coming out um some uh pumpkin pumpkin coffee that's been spiced you can, up. You can spice. tell that uh <laughs> that weeping Bill's head slightly turns to him like pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> My weakness. <laughs> he, he, he like nods rapidly, rubbing his hands together. Oh yeah, it's it's warmed up in, with some uh some cocoa and then milk some... made. Hmm? You say milk made. I said note made. She's a basic. Uh, his character is a basic one. Oh, I mean, it's, <laughs> uh, it's got um these things that are called uh, marshmallows. I don't know where they come from. I don't know how they're made, but they're delicious and just, mm. you know, I'm so excited. Don, you got me one marshmallows. I hate. You. Sounds like something my wife would enjoy. Oh, really? She must be a wonderful person. Um, she she really is. And next time you come back through town, you know, we, uh, we'll try and make sure we can get her some, you know? I mean, unless she's here. Oh, oh my goodness. Did I, did she, is oh, she here and I just missed her? No, no. She's she's far away at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but yeah, next time you come around, yeah, well, I'll make sure to, you know, 
hit up hit up the place with you. We'll get some co- we'll get some coffee. He gives a little n- nudge to her arm, just like yeah, or to his arm rather. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you are teaching these children this uh, Talazi dance, and uh, they're they're needing to be spaced out well. And you're you're good with kids. You've you've done this before. It's like uh, training a bunch of people who have no coordination, no idea what they're doing. But by gumption, do they have the the dry hard because they're just one of them is just spit he not even stomping just trying to spin it spin it spin it he almost loses it like it drops to the ground he's like I got it I got it picks it up uh, one of the kids isn't even spinning he's just boom 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 I think it's important to note that my character's doing it but with a spear oh god <laughs> Jesus Christ yep dangerous around these kids oh, no. yeah. uh, the, the adults they're, they're keep the co- adults keep it close I just like yeah they're like can you can you not uh, I imagine you have it sheathed to you know no nope, nope unsheathed okay oh, yeah. oh, so, Jesus so, Christ yeah, it's all, tradition all to yeah it's tradition yeah. to do it without it like as an act like it's a war dance it's tradition to do it with it out like completely Yep. Uh, all of the adults, so, of, like, you know, of the so, kids are watching. They're just like, Billy is kind really of safe. Billy has situated the kids in a place where she's between the first child of the line and him. <laughs> yep. The, the adults are appreciative, and they're just like, oh, just we should really not. Uh, as soon as it finishes, like the adults just kind of quickly clamber up and just kind of, okay, that's good. And they kind of take away the sticks, and they're like, can we practice it later? Uh, yeah. I mean, just just only with the sticks. Just kind of glance at you, just like. It's a weapon. Sheath it. It's tradition. I'm just, 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 just mill about and just like take the kids I'm sure over. He all of them are just like all of them are like dancing around. One of the kids, he's he's still got a hold of it. He's just stomping as he's walking back. Just he, he's the one who wasn't spinning at all. Just, just use the fire. <laughs> one of the one of the adults like slowly turns their head. Please don't give them ideas. Please. <laughs> And you just see uh, the little girl, uh, the other, the other Millie, just kind of look up. Fire! You just see the man just kind of slowly exhale. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, he, oh! He, he picks her up and just kind of. Please tell me. Please tell me the child shouts it. He, she does, and he he picks her up and just kind of walks away. The wife's just like sl- like head, immediately on a swivel, snaps over. He's just like. He like pauses. He just picks her up. Just like we gotta go. <laughs> Leave for your life. <laughs> uh, he he goes over to his wife, who is uh, going to give him a thorough scolding. Was that the little girl who considered me a big yeah. sister because we had the same name? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is her. <laughs> Growing up like just like a big sister. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not cursed yet. I think you will eventually. <laughs> you will eventually. <laughs> eventually. It's an inevitability. Don't fight it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, seeing the uh, right now, it's it's in the afternoon. Uh, it's getting a little bit chillier, but you've you've seen that the uh, the dry wood that's been brought in has been stacked up decently high. It's going to be a good bonfire, but it's also got a lot of dry wood around the area. Uh, to use kind of as a, a backing to keep the heat in a, a certain area with little areas to come in and out. And I'm trying to see if there's any festive music. Yeah, I'll I'll look for festive. it later. Can I make a request? Hmm. Are there any bells nearby? Like just loose bells that I can use? Um there are. Uh, Millie's gonna take that and string and attach them to her Drake. <laughs> to her drink? Drake. Drake, okay. Uh, he, he kind of, like, shifts his head from side to side. Ding, 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 Like, eyes, like, slowly, like, dilating as it's just like, ah, yes. Ding, 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 ding. Millie holds up the flute. You want to perform? Just staring at me like what? <laughs> uh, who are you talking to? What? To the Drake. <laughs> uh, the Drake just like nodding. Just ding 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 ding. I'm gonna see how well this goes. I almost want to ask if I have advantage since I have proficiency in the flute and this is her background. <laughs> uh, no, you would be uh, making it with a, uh, a charisma with the flute. My charisma instead of performance. Uh. 
because you're still getting profi- you're getting proficiency from the flute. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the flute gives you proficiency. I forget about that. Oh fuck, it's query. You said wisdom. Yeah, or charisma. No, 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 charisma. <laughs> yeah, it's. You just have him just bobbing his head along to help with it, and it's it's, it's a jaunty little tune. It's quite nice. And uh, you actually get a few people just kind of clapping along. They're just like, you know, it's it's nice. It's very festive, and people are having a good time. And uh, clearly shows that you know you you know what you're doing with the flute. You're just kinda, they're kind of like looking at you like an appreciative nod. Thank God that that's, that nat won't have me worried. Can <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna study better than a dude throwing spears, right? Right. <laughs> What are uh, you uh, saying? Right, that what? Oh, um, uh, Weeping Bill is studying how she's playing intensely. His black soulless eyes are like staring at the flute. Black soulless as he's eyes. like trying to kind of mimic the notes. He's more doing it to like try and find out what sound is where on this flute. <laughs> Can I? Do I notice him observing me? Uh, while you're playing the wood, I'm gonna, probably uh, not wood. The uh, the woodwind instrument. I'm gonna go ahead and say, probably not. Did you say the flute animal. is a woodwind? Yeah. Yeah. What? It's it a is. woodwind instrument. There's a reed. It doesn't have a reed, but it's usually in the woodwind a section. Flute is considered a, a flute is considered a woodwind because it requires air. Yeah. Oh, it, they all require <laughs> air. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's got the you know, let me do it. <laughs> it is considered woman, I can tell you that much, simply because holy fucking shit. Ooh. What else would it be considered? No, I'm curious. No, I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious as well. What What have you been taught it is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know, because I was in orchestra. I wasn't in band. <laughs> Same, I was in orchestra. I don't know. I like how you guys are just like we're we're orchestra and we're not, me and her are just like and you're like that this is what they're referred to as. I was it both. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what you were taught, but you know that this is what I was always told. That they're called woodwinds. Oh. You know, that's just you know that's just what ah! I was taught. No were worries. you taught that in like a general music thing, or did you play band? I, I played band. I played band. Oh, orchestra versus band. I was in marching and orchestra. We did both. Oh. Interesting. Yep, I was uh, I was just a marching band scrub. Marching band scrub. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, in our school, it was separated like the violins and the violas and the cellos and the bass were always in like one room, and then the rest of the instruments were banned. They were raised they us, in one room. They had us do marching band, which, like, I pay for it. They had us do marching band in the fall and winter, and then orchestra for like. The very last bit of winter and spring. Dude, our band never did any kind of marching thing or didn't do anything like that. Unless it was like performing at a school concert. Uh, and that's because uh, our band teacher kind of sucked at band. So <laughs> the students oh. also sucked. Oh no. <laughs> that's not what you want to hear. No, uh, ironically, my teacher's uh, name was Mr. Noise. Dude, that's beautiful! <laughs> right, and he taught oh orchestra. Gosh. It was very ironic. Um, but anyways. Yes, anyways, moving on. No Wait, worries. okay, now I now have a question. Why would I not notice for the woodwind? Because I have my eyes open anyway. You were focusing on the performance. You think I can't survey? I mean, Make his gaze is pretty obvious. Then. Make a perception okay. check then. You notice. <laughs> You see his black soulless eyes just staring at your flute. Billy's gonna change it so her fingers move just a bit slower. Alright. Uh, he's he's still, trying to help him. He's still following. <laughs> he's, he's trying his best. He's doing his best. He's learning. He likes learning. Yep. And it's definitely working with you. And it's definitely giving you a chance to actually check everything out. Uh, the parents are nodding along to it. They're like, you see, if you just put in the time and effort, you could be able to do stuff like that. But I want to spin a stick! 
I, I mean, want to spin a stick for my life. She's gonna like pull back her from her flute a bit. I mean, I can do both. Do you want to do both? <sighs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <kid. laughs> same kid, with crossed arms. He's very pouty. Very pouty kid. <laughs> it's um, like the. Yeah, Miss Cornwall just kind of just, like shakes her head. Um, can you can you just keep an eye on him? I'm going to get the fig figgy pudding. Just go. Up. Of course. Uh, the gnome just watches all this, just with amusement, just like. Yeah, like as as she's playing and uh uh, uh Weeping Bell is just studying. Uh. He just comes up and slams next to Weeping Bell and slams uh, his hand onto their shoulder. Goes, oh man, this is a really good performance. <laughs> <laughs> Weeping Bell doesn't answer for like a good thirty seconds before turning his head and being like, "I'm sorry, what?" <laughs> <laughs> Complete disassociation. Really good performance, right? Ah, uh, yes, it is a, it is a wonderful performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You need yeah. anything, one? Sorry, what'd you say? You need anything? Oh, I think I'm alright for now, thank you. I feel like I've hurt the kids, uh, the parents is night enough, so I'm gonna calm down a bit with that. I, I did see that some parents were a bit worried. As, yeah. he's, like, as he's like looking around at the parents, they're like, don't swing around the stick anywhere dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they are all doing that. They're like, no. They're no. all swinging their sticks still. <laughs> well, some, uh, of them, yeah. some of them are taking it from them because they don't want to, you know, no, do, to, do no harm. To be fair, I'm not used to uh, this kind of, you know, uh, area. Uh, back in uh, my home, we usually uh, uh, swing swords or spears around their children but when they're only around the age of seven. Sometimes <laughs> younger, depending when they are start <laughs> there. That's very interesting, and you can, his voice is very monotone and flat, and it sounds like it could be sarcastic. But even though his eyes are like dead and soulless, you can you can you can tell that he's truly interested in what dead you're saying. Soulless. That's never gonna knock me into a laugh. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's really interesting and fun. Uh, the just oh, only usually get cut if you really want to. Huh. Where are you from exactly? And he's still trying to figure out the flute as he's talking. <laughs> Going to notes. <laughs> <laughs> T I am. Uh, I'm from Telazi. Would I have heard of that before? Uh, roll a history check. Uh, history. Here we go. Not really. This is like even with the places you've come from, you've heard of people that you know dress similar to him but not not Talazi that's not a name you're familiar with hmm. oh excuse me where is that place exactly well this is an it's an island no it's a pretty far away from here uh, so you two are far from home oh yeah pretty far trying to explore their world and learn a bit I'm sure it's a Fun adventure. No, yeah, so far it is. I mean, nothing is. I haven't run into any problems so far. That's good. Very How good. about you, Mister Weeping Bell? Uh, I I also come very far from home, and he lowers the flute a little bit. It's okay, Pat. Pat. Just <laughs> too Pat. Pat. Is it a very so strong bad. pack? Can I see if like <laughs> that doesn't falls? affect me at all? Um, I'll say that just because you you are, you know, you're you're probably seated in such a way that it's not like you know you're gonna slip and fall or anything like that. Roll a Constitution save. Would it be a con or strength? No, oh. this, this is gonna be con because uh. It's more, more it's like strength would be like you know if you're trying to push. This is like trying to tense up before you fall over. You stumble, yeah, like, but uh, you're you're okay. Oh, sorry yeah. for that. I, uh, sometimes I forget me on strength. Uh, Apology. No, it's it's totally fine. And uh, 
he looks around and he just murmurs to himself, I wonder when that pumpkin coffee's coming. <laughs> Alright, uh, right as you're saying that, you see Miss Cornwall comes back with a, a big pot that she, uh, she kind of is motioning for her husband to quickly run over and grab it with her, because it's, it's a big pot. Um, and the little kid, Piggy pudding, piggy pudding, piggy pudding, you just hear, like, several other kids chanting that as well as they come over and they set it down, people uh, get bowls that are preset, and then you see another lady with this big pot that's just kind of kind of toddling from side to side. She's got a big ladle attached to the side of it, sets it down, and she goes, Judge! Judge, get the glasses! It's time! Time! And the, time you, you, see this, you see this old guy just kind of hobble over with a bunch of uh, glasses, uh, clearly from a bar, uh, probably from the tavern in the city, as he starts setting it out, and you I see her whip it open, and she's like, Come get your puffy! Come get the pumpkin spice! She pours the ladle into one. Free this, only this batch! The next batch is gonna cost you at least two gold! And then the husband kind of leans over, he's just like, Two silver! I know what I said! Two silver! Well, you always undermined my prices! I'm trying to be fair to them, dear! <laughs> fine! Fine! Two silver, but not a penny underneath. What is happening? <laughs> what is a penny? I don't <laughs> know. It's a new currency I'm calling copper. It's still copper. I want to call it a penny. It sounds far cuter. <laughs> You're thinking of our daughter. She's adorable. She should be named for copper. Uh, can I? Oh, she, she's, a, she's a little old. Can I get uh, a cup of that good shit? That good kush? Yes, you, 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 you can get uh, the first cup is free. If you want one after that, it's two silver. All right, is it like in a mug? Yes. All right, so it's in a nice toasty mug. Big Cheshire energy. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to get Cheshire. the cup. So you all can get one. All right, I'll, I go over, get a cup, and slightly bow to uh, the lady that brought it out and say thank you very much. See, he's no, he knows how to show respect. I'm not even a queen, and he's bowing. You're a queen <laughs> in my book, honey. Oh, don't Aww. make me blush. I'm in the middle of the open. People will see me. I know Thank you, ma'am. This is a pure relationship. Wholesome. This is wholesome. Wholesome. <laughs> Downs his coffee immediately, not knowing really what it is. Well, he goes, that was very good. He'll put two, he'll put two gold in her hand. Mm -hmm. I'll have another. See, this man knows how to do business. She takes your mug away, gives it to the old, uh, the older gentleman, reaches down and pulls out a uh, a big, a bigger tankard. Yeah, that's Just how it is. Pours it into it. It, it is. It's uh, clearly about three times, four times bigger he, than uh, the other drinks. And she he's gonna be hand. awake for a good minute. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna um, go sit back down and just look into the cup. Okay. I'm gonna get up and grab two mugs. Okay. And give her two gold for this, because screw it, why not? Okay. See? All these people understand how to do business! Uh, the second one you get oh. is a, a tankard. Oh no, trust me, the bigger one isn't for me. I don't understand, but at the same time, I wish you the best of winter season. Billy's gonna <laughs> whistle and have her drink come up beside her. <laughs> Eager, eager, uh, pawing at the ground. Yes, 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 yes. Try this. She's gonna open up the tankard and let him, like, take a drink. Just, his tongue, like, steps out for a little bit, then just, just starts quickly licking it up like a cat. Just... Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> yep, uh, you all can sit down. It's, uh... I'm still staring into my cup. <laughs> you're just like, I Millie's, got this. Millie's going to take a seat beside him. You know, you're supposed to drink it. Uh, oh, hey, how's it? don't you like the coffee? I I do. I've had this sort of stuff before. And he's going to take a very small sip. Oh, that's good. Oh, you're supposed to take small sips. <laughs> <laughs> you know this happy? <laughs> 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 I love this guy. <laughs> like, what? Oh, oh, small oh. Sip. oh I you noticed half the tanker's gone. Oh, He's it's small sips. Sips. Yeah. I mean, you drink about as fast as that one does. She's going to gesture over to her drink. 
he, he, like, oh. you just see him, he pokes up, he's got a little bit of, uh, of the coffee just, like, slowly striding down his, uh, his muzzle. As he, you just see him, his tongue just go, <laughs> then sticks his head back. What's the little tyke's name? You know, I've been trying to figure that out. I've only had him for a bit. Well, if you count five years a bit, but, you know, hey. <laughs> Well, I um, care. Your character's been trying to figure out a name for like five years. Um, <laughs> five years. Well, he's, he's copper. Like, so how about like that lady said we call him Penny. I just imagine Millie just slowly <laughs> looking over towards him, and then slowly looking back to the drink to see his reaction. Uh, he's still drinking the coffee. <laughs> I don't think Penny would work just yet for him. Uh, also, okay um, for your sake, Millie. Um, that actually is about the standard amount of time for one to actually give a name to a, a creature such as this. Uh, the first five years are like the baby years. After oh. the fifth year, they are considered huh. oh, okay. uh, old enough to actually be considered uh, a companion drake, and that's when they're usually given a name. Oh, that's oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. So yeah, well, you, you, you were actually right on point with that. No, you were right on point with that. <laughs> So yeah, that's something that your character would know, and the fact that you just got it without knowing that before. You know, I, I meant to go over that with you. I apologize, but at the same time, you nailed that. <laughs> Perfect. Yes! <laughs> that is interesting. Honestly, I am so intrigued by everything in this world. It is great. I'm still taking tiny little baby sips. Like, they're a bit, like, I say they're sips, but, like, they're really small sips. He's, like, really savoring this. Uh, Batalan's trying to mimic the babysit. Like, you're, you're still getting big old I, mouthfuls. I, yeah. I think you're supposed to drink it how you want. I think he just prefers taking it. Oh, I thought I was being, oh. uh, not politically correct. That oh. was good. Not politically <laughs> correct. It's just, uh, in my homeland, pumpkin flavored things are very exotic. Uh, my family really enjoys them. What's a pumpkin? It's a sort of vet vegetable. But I know if it's a vegetable. <laughs> uh, you've heard them referred to as vegetables, but you've never been able to confirm it. All right, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I've been told it's a sort of vegetable and it can be made into certain sweets and much of the sorts. Like pie. You just see the gnome next to you, just like eyes wide as he slowly points and sees uh, several pies being brought out, just set around. Just one of the kids is moving over. And one of the, pumpkin like, oh, pie? No, no, it's one of them pumpkin pie. pie. They're all pumpkin pie. Uh, oh well, my not all, God. All, all the ones that are being brought out now. There are also some in the back who are bringing out apple pie, uh, key lime. Do pies. I know what the hell a pie is? <laughs> this, this is new to you. You're just looking at it, just like, what the heck is this? This is a buffet of unknown foods. <laughs> what is pie? Okay, so imagine this. Okay, so you know how delicious that drink tasted, right? Imagine. I don't really know. My mouth is kind of on fire currently. I never got the taste. What? He didn't, what? He didn't wait he for too long. He downed hot coffee. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe you should wait a little bit before you take a few small sips. Maybe that was my bad. <laughs> yeah, that might be bad. This is why you take slow. Si okay. This is why you you sit, you taste it first and then you go to town. But okay. <laughs> His Can leg starts it? like gyrating. He's like, oh, oh that is good. No. <laughs> he kind of looks Can down and he's just like, huh, that's Can interesting. you feel the inside of your mouth? Not completely, but it is a regaining feeling. Make a con oh. save. Butters. While you're doing that, can I go up and get a good slice of that pie? You can. Yeah, you, uh, Arr. with an 18, um, simply just due to the sheer amount of coffee that you've drunk, uh, you get a plus two to your dexterity checks oh for the next hour, after which uh, you will be a, a, li a little bit tired, but you're not going to have no points of exhaustion, nothing like that, but just for the next hour, you have a plus two to your dexterity checks. You're going to crash, baby! <laughs> you see his eyes kind of open up and be like, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you see, just like, I got comically, to go to the bathroom. Just comically, just zoom! He's yeah. It's like a dust really cloud. <laughs> um... Gonna make a do yellow I snowball. Cut, do I or oh, no. do I cut it? Uh, they they cut it for you. 
today just to make sure you know everyone's given equal shares so the kids don't you know eat an entire yeah, pie bigger than mine no yours is bigger than mine you know they they cut it even as evenly as they can all right um, you know there's actually a device that cuts is there anyone, an entire pie at once is mm-hmm. there anyone serving it at the moment uh yes it is a a, a younger lady uh with uh, blonde curls done up uh with a uh, Basically, it's like a, a woolen beanie on her head, covering up her ears. So she's got a, a scarf wrapped up with you know tiny little red nose poking out from underneath it as she's like, here you go. Oh, it's so cold out here. Oh, Are you okay, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, oh, I, I, we, we only moved in here during the spring. How, how small is she? Uh, I'd say like 5'3". Alright, um, my boy's like 6'5", so he's gonna have to like lower himself down and be like, how much is it by? As he's like reaching in for his... Just, just a silver slice. Uh, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Silver's for the whole pie. If you're getting just a slice, it's three po- three copper. Uh, he only has gold, so he's just gonna hand over a, uh, a gold piece and say, uh, did, did I'll you take whole whatever. Pie? Yeah, okay, I'll take uh, a whole pie. She- counts out nine silver and gives it to you. Thank you, sir. Happy winter. She gives you a whole uh, pie of your choice. Pumpkin pie. Yeah, you get a whole pumpkin pie all to yourself. That's the good shit. All right, he's um, gonna sit down and cut very nice, neat cuts into it. Yep. yep. So you're, uh, you're nib- nibbling and nomming away on that. You're just like, mm. Very, very small. Very small. He's like, really, again, savoring really it. savoring this. He's savoring it. Yep. This porridge, right, for what I'm about to do. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a pumpkin and a key lime pie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One, because I don't like pumpkin, but he sure does. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that would be what, two silver? So I get eight back. For slices, yes. Uh, no, no, you're getting whole pies. Yeah, no, I'm getting you, pie. You yeah, oh, yeah. I was about to say, I'm like, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> you getting key lime and getting a pumpkin pie? That's yeah, that's two silver. So, yeah, you get eight silver back, and uh, you put the pie uh, next to the Drake. The Drake just sort of kind of looks at it. I spoil you. I hope you know this. <laughs> I'm done. Starts just digs into it. Doesn't care about cutting it. Just goes straight. To Face town. plants into pie. <laughs> Yep. Uh, by this point, the pie is like just slightly nibbled on, and the cup of pumpkin spice coffee is like not even three quarters down. Do you, oh, geez. Do you just take your time eating? Uh, uh, not usually, but. Pumpkin is a very rare thing for my people to come across. Oh, I get it. So you're taking your time. It's very exotic and something that my family very much enjoyed when we were able to get our hands on it. Hang on. No worries. Jingle, 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 jingle. Okay. Okay. What? Mm-hmm. All I heard was ching 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 for yeah, both because, of jing, you. Jing, 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 because the jingle bells. bells. The jingle bells. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's just gonna look at. Did he ever tell her her name? Or has she at least heard it? She probably heard him. You introduced talk. yourselves. Yeah. Okay. It's Weeping Bell. I'm never gonna not say Weeping Bell. I'm sorry. It's just gonna slip out every now and again. I'm just warning That's you totally now. Fine. You probably won't even notice. <laughs> Hello there. He's back. He's back in the bathroom. Did you wash your hands? No Please masks. say yes. By spitting on them and rubbing them against the ground. No, that stop washing. With with no. soap. Have, have you ever heard of soap? You have heard of soap, yes. Yes. You're supposed to wash it with soap. Yeah, but then go in the building. There's a these kind of motions. There's a a few places that are open, but uh. I will actually buy you a hand a bar of soap if I have to. I just use that from outside. I don't know what's wrong with that. That's not that's not that's not the point. Your hands have pee on them. 
Ant spit and dirt. Okay, well, you might want to go just just quickly wash up. Otherwise, they're not going to sell you any pie. What is pie? Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah, he pie is, is a very what? sweet. And just go go wash your hands. Go wash your hands. <laughs> I'll be right back real quick. Okay. So yeah, the, the little gnome just like go go wash your hands. He pushes you in towards the the general store, which uh, the person in there is just like they're clearly just like you know having someone come in to uh, bring them in a pie and they're just like oh yeah thank you they're eating it watching come in bathroom are in the back oh so good oh, apple's my favorite oh yeah wow he's fucking nutting at this pie no that's the nutmeg pie that's the that's, uh, other pie over there I like apple <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it to him. <laughs> you know, I had to do it to him like that. <laughs> you just do the pose. <laughs> You're in the corner of everyone's eyes, and when we look, there's no one there. Oh my, one more. Shinderu. Shinderu. No, no ni! <laughs> uh, can, I, can I make this a cosmetic thing for my character, like a hmm? purely aesthetic? Uh, hmm. Whenever uh, he has his attention focused on something, the... Uh, the pupils, I guess. You can't really see pupils. They widen. Like they dilate. And you this, yeah, and when something's startled, they slant down like cats. Is that an aesthetic thing? I'm gonna don't totally do that. He is actually a cat. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's fair. God bless. I mean, so you're just, you know, you're enjoying your, your pie. Uh, but is you still here? The talent? Oh no, I think they're I think they all vanished on us. No, I'm here. I just have my phone in my pocket, so I have to <laughs> okay. open my phone to use pitch. Oh, no worries. Right. I wasn't sure. Uh, but yeah, you, you are directed to wash up and once you do, you are able to get in line for a pie. Uh, a slice of pie is three copper. A full pie is one silver. I hand the gold. You hand them a gold, they give you back nine silver. And they give you a pie of your choice. They have pumpkin, they have apple pie, they have nutmeg pie, they have key lime pie. Uh, there's also a mince meat pie. Uh, there's a few meat others. pie. The meat pie? Okay. You're given that pie and uh, you're able to go sit down and uh, dig in. Please so tell me he's like shoving this entire pie in his Oops, face and like. Even if he doesn't like... like it, he pretends to like it, even if he doesn't. It's still pretty good. It's a. Uh... A different selection of meat than you're used to, and you're like, eh, it's not like home, but it's still good pie. It's still delicious. In its own way, of course. Is there a thing I can cover this, like, uh, this whole thing of pie with? Because I'm sure I just took a slice. I'm not going to eat the entire fucking pie. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there is a um, uh, wooden boxes. Uh, they do mention and recommend that you know you eat it as quickly as you can. They don't want it to go bad too fast, but the wooden boxes are to help uh, preserve it as best as they can. All right, uh, he's gonna put the rest of the pie that he had in the in a box and then continue eating his little his little tiny. It's not a little tiny slice, but it's, it's, it's like with the bites he's taking. It, it's. <laughs> I like how you're playing so sheepish, but your character's bigger than mine. Huh? Tall boy. But tall is only six foot four. Oh wow! I thought he was like six foot I'm seven. What am I? No, but tall uh, one's tall, but not that tall. He's still human. <laughs> yeah, my um, boy's big. Yeah, uh, Emmy got a box for her pie, and Tall and finally washed his hands and got a mince meat pie. How was he there's eating it? There's mince meat pie. Yeah, there's mince meat pie. Ah! <laughs> Just her runs back over. It runs. Slams a gold on the table. Give me a pie. <laughs> This red stream. I was raised by dragons. Were you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need. I need my meat. Why? I was raised by dragons. Really? No. But still. <laughs> uh, so you you go and get some mincemeat pie. I'm guessing. Millie's a southerner. She needs her meat. Yes. <laughs> Do you get two or one? Two. Okay. Uh, you put that Nick down next to the Drake. The Drake. The pie's already gone. He's like, from the first one, he just looks down at it, moves down, just. The amount of fat you are going to get from this is going to be extraordinary. He pauses, pulls his head back, cat mum. 
and then goes back in. <laughs> Bat. <laughs> She's like poking his stomach as he says this. He doesn't mind. He's used to you poking and prodding him. <laughs> uh, so you sit down, you're able to eat your pies, uh, the sun is beginning to go down in the distance, and the there's a, a, a somewhat slender, uh, still very thick and strong-armed Furbolk who moves towards the center of town, and he's like, Alright, everybody, we're going to be setting the fire in just a moment here. Come, come. I love him. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Can I say that I'm only like only almost there to finishing my pie and coffee, but I'm still not quite there. I took that much time. Yes. <laughs> Millie's just staring at you like, "What the actual fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> you you are taking your sweet time. Yeah, he yeah, but now it's cold. You pointed out, he still enjoys it. <laughs> She's not gonna say anything. She's literally just staring at him. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> can I actually, can I see if I notice she's staring? Perception I ain't check. hiding it! You're what focusing I, on I? your food. Perception check. I'll, I'll lie. What? You, you, you notice her. She, she's not stealthy at all, but at the same time, right. she's, you know, you kind of notice. You just, mm. You see it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna look over with, like, a fork in my mouth and just slowly pull it on and be like, Yes. It's cold. It's still enjoyable to me. I, my wife used to like pie. Do you have a wife? You're married. Yes, she's back at home right now. Oh, why'd you come all the way over here? I'm sure, you miss each other. Wait, what did you say? She asked, "Why? Why do you come all the way over here?" And that she was sure that you guys miss one another. Oh, I miss her very much. Ah. Oh. But I am on a very important mission for my people. Oh, so am I. He kind of just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> so just, just all of a sudden, there. I mean, he is, it might be the coffee. He's vibrating through the atmosphere, just He's suddenly vibrating. there. Vibrating. I'm He's on the mission. The flash. What is yours? Uh, my. Gather round, gather round. You hear the fur oh. say again as uh, he holds up uh, his hand. Why is it? Uh, fire begins to crackle around his fingertips. Just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. why is the why is the leader of the town a furbog yogi? Did you no, say no. yogi bear? To, to the furbog's voice that Guru was giving to him. Go on, Guru. Uh, the, <laughs> he uh, as he holds his hand up, this fire on each fingertip that slowly pulls down into the center of his palm. As he shoosh, turns and puts his hand against the Ooh. whole thing and just. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. As the uh, as wow. oil that had been put onto the wood catches fire first and just begins to crackle and create a very uh, spiral-like uh, fire pattern that will eventually begin to burn at it. But he's clapping his hands together again, just like the f the festivities are about to begin. Come on, come on! He motions for you all to join. He's like, come on! Tell me it's not Yogi. It's not Yogi. What, festi what um. festivities are about to happen? Come and find out! Come on! Motions uh, again, and people, they're milling in. Really? Uh, some people are still outside of the uh, the wood piles that are used, again, to kind of barricade and keep the heat within a certain area. Lily's gonna, gonna stand up and hold her hand out to weak me, Bill. Come on! He, uh, he's too focused on the fire. You notice that uh, his the black part of his eyes are, like, widening, so you can barely see the white of his eyes. Oh my god, it's like a shark when they're ready to eat! What the hell? <laughs> He's just staring at the fire. Uh, Batalan happily grabs your hand excitedly and starts <laughs> pulling you towards the oh fire. Oh lord! Who? I mean, she's not gonna fight it. She weighs like a hundred pounds. <laughs> so it's new. Alright, so you're staying outside of the ring of fire? I'm watching the fire. Burning my ring eyes still like... <laughs> uh, so two you are in the middle of the fire. Uh, Tom, does, wait, I get proficiency in an instrument. Does my background give me that instrument? Uh, I'd say yes. So I have a drum on me. Great. Yeah, wait, can I bring oh, my pie weird. to the fire? And the, actually, they're, they're, no, they're coffee. You. You, you All right, cool. He's going to pick up the coffee, and while staring at the fire, he's going to walk out and still stand a little bit away, but I'm not so, like... Are you holding it in front of you? Like, you kind of have your hands in front of you while holding the coffee? 
Yes. It's that very... is exactly how I thought I think was sacrifice. Sacrifice is tossing the mug into the fire. Oh no, 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 he enjoys that coffee. He ain't sacrificing <laughs> shit. <laughs> If someone tried to take that away from him, I'm pretty sure he'd smack their hand and it might hurt. Fight start! <laughs> yeah. Round but one, fight! My character now has a bongo drum on him, so that's not... <laughs> I mean, drum and woodwind go pretty well together, so let's see how this goes. Yep. Um, they're actually going to be doing the festivity part of it themselves first, uh, because you've given them a lovely performance. They're like, yeah, well, the, the, no worries, we're... we're, we're no worries. What? You guys uh, cut out. Uh, they were about ready to start playing their their drum solo and such, and they're like, hold on, hold on. Uh, and the first group of people, um, they come out, and it's a group of men, and they begin to uh, lift a log onto their shoulders, mm -hmm. set it down onto these uh, two uh, like X-formation stands to put it down they motion to another set of guys who do it on the other side and they pull out this big old saw what the fuck two of them get on either side and two of them get on the other side as they both one person grabs each side of it they both uh, look at each other they look to the other people and it's just uh, the furball calls with sense and go and just you just see sha, 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 as they start what carving the? through and just you just watch as they just quickly one two three four and just going right through this log and then just chunk, 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 and you see the first guy is yeah yeah we did it yeah. oh wait these are strength checks yeah oh hello, They're, hello. Like, so uh they pick up the um the piece of wood that they had they hold it in the air and they toss it into the fire if anyone wishes to Come up, they may do so. Millie no. walks up. <laughs> Batalon walks up. I see you are already partnered. Good, good. Get on, oh, up. Get on either side of this, please, please. And right. the other two guys who uh, already wanted to like shaking their hands, like, huh? Ready? Let us get this bird, Gabriel. Bird, what? Bread. Oh, <laughs> I thought he said, "Let's get this bird going." I'm like, what? Let's Hold get on. this bread, gamers. <laughs> Okay. Still makes not a lot of What are you doing to my sheep? Advantage toggle. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's fucking right. with the sheep. He's fine. <laughs> don't, worry, don't, worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's switching your stats. You're too <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> You're too strong. My strength is draining. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. To be fair, bringing this car character might make me just as overpowered. So fuck. This will work fine. <laughs> Yeah, you're not overpowered yet. Yet. <laughs> I know you people. You'll get overpowered eventually, but so um. Let's see if there's the any, uh... I don't know. I already consumed myself. We don't kind discuss of OP. this. <laughs> to me, Weeping Bell is pretty OP. Probably more OP than any other character I have. Oh. Let's see if there's. Setting a timer for it. I think this is a good one. Oh, that's gonna be too loud. Oh, don't don't you do it. All I heard was ting! Let me turn this off real quick. Ironically, it still oh. has bells in the background. Nice. Alright, so. Uh, I would like both of you to roll a strength check. That's right. Well, I your strength. Athletics. If you're, not, if you're proficient in it, it would be athletics. All 13. Right. Alright. Oh yeah, one of these guys is just going to town, but uh, they're a little bit off. He's a little bit lower than the other guy. It's, uh, they're not evenly spacing it. Uh, you guys are keeping it evenly spaced, but you're a little bit slower on it. It's definitely uh, getting through the log, though. Uh, roll another athletic check. <laughs> you lose your hand on it. <laughs> you slam your face against it for a second. You're like, nope, I got this, I got this. Sorry. Go ahead, Batalan. Twenty-four, not that one. Twenty-four. Yeah. He's like, no, the... please. Yeah, the twenty-four. Uh, you, you're still. You see the uh, the second guy, the first guy. He's like slowing down. Like, come on. And the other guy just. He's carved deep into this thing. Uh, a natural twenty. Oh Jesus. Uh, one more athletics check. It's okay. Take your time, sweetie. Oh jeez. 
Oh, he calls people sweetie. Uh, you guys are starting to catch up. Uh, they rolled really low, and they're they're almost through, but they were just they're kind of like they were giving you guys like hey, you fell, you fell off. We'll give you a second. It was just being kind of more lackadaisical. Uh, you're catching up though. Uh, one more athletic shake between the two of you. That's no good. Uh, that's no good. Yep, that that ten. Uh, with that, the, you see them like you're really close. You're almost there. You hear as the uh, log piece falls off, and you're like you pull it again, and just sh a second later, and you're like just behind it. Oh, good job, good job. And you start clapping. And they they clap, they clap as well. They move over, and they smack your shoulders like not bad. That was pretty fast, see ya. Okay. Also, what was point of game? Uh, <laughs> show off some strength. He flexes and he uh, holds out a hand to do, basically do the um, the uh, arm shake where you're like flexing to kind of show off how strong. Oh, you are. I thought we were just helping f make firewood. Okay, <laughs> he shakes hand. <laughs> he, he shakes. He shakes your hand. He's he's a pretty he's a fairly buff dude, but uh, yeah, you guys are also you are you are helping make firewood as well. It's just that they make it into a competition for more fun, obviously. Oh yeah, he's, I don't think. Yeah. Talon totally didn't put two and two together that this was a competition. He was like, okay, let's get this fire started. Yep. <laughs> Min Millie holds out her hand, don't spit shake me, please. Grandpa does that enough. How tall is Millie? Uh, she's like four. <laughs> Mil uh, Millie. Uh, mm. Let us, uh... It's I my turn, fellas. Oh, Wait, no. <laughs> oh no! Immediately, a dragon swoops down and kills everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I have a drake. He doesn't have wings. Don't profile like that. <laughs> it steps down. And goes. Bro, <laughs> this the drake. Is, the drake has rabies. Bro, <laughs> <Roll initiative. laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, you guys have helped. Uh, the next thing that they have is um, people showing off like their wares. Like one person showing off woodworking stuff, uh, one person showing off. Uh... Dawn, since I have leather workers' tools, mm -hmm. would I be able to make a saddle? Uh, you would. It would Can take you say... some time to do so, but you could. Can we say the saddle is one of my work? One of your works? Yes, you can show that yeah. off. Ooh, ooh, I have something I could show off. That is a nice album. Uh, what are you showing off? I'm going to show off a, um, I don't know why it's not in my inventory, but it is a very intricate piece of jewelry from my homeland. Ah. So what are you showing off? That's a, something that no one would really see before. Uh, the carving of it is exotic. It's, uh, there's a technique to it that you can't, you, none of you can really put your fingers on that. This is very interesting. Oh, we're showing things off? We're showing uh, off stuff we made, yeah. Oh, uh, I made this with the help of my mother. And he'll sh hold out a spear. That's fucking precious. And the spear is, is like, it's supposed so to get at the very bottom. Fuck? <laughs> at the very bottom is like the head or body of the octop same octopus with the seven tentacles going up to the peak of the spear. My mama helped me make this when I was with a child. I've had this since I was 12. Wow, and it served you that long? Yeah. Is your mom a weaponsmith? No, no, she's just a good, uh, nice one. It's impressive work. Can I look at it? She's gonna hold it. Oh, that yeah, by all means. There's some, like, light bl blood staining on it. Naturally. <laughs> But it's not really on the peak of the spear, it's on the wood of it, weirdly enough. He's been bludgeoning people with it! It's very nice. Thank you. Do excellent work. She's gonna hand it back to him. It was mostly my mama. You still helped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's going to move her drake over. While it's not as exorbitant, he did help make the saddles for him since he's only going to be a bit bigger anyway. Uh, you see him kind of turn his head, showing himself off with pride. It's like, ah. You're such a show horse. Mm. He lems at you. 
Blizz. She does it back to him. <laughs> so, uh, you all, uh, you two, uh, you would be belly, belly, you two, uh, don't you? Good what? <laughs> I didn't see that. Are you two adventurers? Uh, just starting out, I suppose. It's normal for my family to do this before we take over the business. No, that is interesting. Would you like to accompany me on my journey? I'm part of a, uh, I'm on a uh, mission from me tribe, and uh, I could use all the help I could get. And I like you too. You see, the type of people I'd love to be. On. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I got interrupted by family. What the fuck is going on? Uh, he's asking if you want to <laughs> join him in his travels. I, uh, Dinner. I have uh, uh, Papa and Mama send me on the journey I to a. Uh, Get big and strong, and uh, I could use all the help I could get to be quiet. I don't see the harm in it. I'm sure we are following similar paths if we're both here. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, what are you looking to do, Miss, uh, Mr. Weeping? It's a long story. And he looks down at the little piece of jewelry that he had out. Right. Uh. As you look down at it, you hear a soft choir begin to sing as the uh, Furbolg is acting as the instructor, the uh, conductor of the song as you see a, a group of people beginning to kind of come together, uh, a few men in the back, a few women in the front as they're beginning to uh, sing a very very festive, very happy tune uh, that people just kind of start kind of... Uh, just kind of clapping in, just seeming to enjoy themselves. Uh, I'll wait till Paris gets back. Just cause she oh, did she leave? Back. She said she'll be oh, okay. She, uh, she typed uh, in yeah. the chat. Oh, okay. I, I hope everybody's like my precious little boy. I love him. He's a good boy. Precious man. As one needs to be at times. How's the Twitch chat looking, Guru? Since I can't see it, see it. How is it? I can't see shit either. I should probably yep. should have brought it up. Yep. No worries. Um, I can't bring it up. Literally, my computer couldn't handle it. Uh, thus far, they seem to be enjoying this quite a bit. Uh, they're quite happy with the idea of uh, the pie being given out, and uh, they were actually the ones who uh, mentioned the uh, some kids going to get a sword, and I was like, wait, hold on a second. That was a joke that I was going to be doing. I'm glad, I'm glad someone beat me to it. Who said that? I believe it was Limey, because she is in the chat. She is just Limey's here. Hey, yo, Limey. Limey, shout out for you for drawing my beautiful bird boy. Oh, yeah, the scree! <laughs> Flying screech of destruction and power. That's probably my favorite piece of fan art we've gotten so far. Straight yes. up, the scree is the... Uh, it's one of my favorite moments of Shuffle and... Oh, I, my personal favorite is Talking Bird. I'm sorry, hold on. Let me, let me, I have to Talking Bird. Correctly. No, no, hold on. Let me do this correctly. Talking Bird. Does he even talk that much? Uh, The bird? Uh, Ooh, he mimics shuffle. people. Okay. Yeah, Shuffle can't speak. A good boy. He's cursed, technically, for all Ken Kuwaker. Yep. Aww. Uh, which, in boy. this world, um, some are cursed. Uh, some of them have... Uh, essentially made a deal with a god to get their I'm voice back. back, but they can't do the mimicry. Welcome hey. back. Wait, what? Uh, we're talking about the, uh, the, the, the talking bird. <laughs> talking bird. Yes. Talking bird. Alright, so, um, where you stepped out, uh, as, you know, they're discussing, you know, everyone coming together, uh, you also hear a choir beginning to sing, uh, women in the front, men in the back, as they're singing a very festive tune. What is everyone's passive perception? 16. Oh, 15. mine's not that great. Let me check for your chief. <laughs> Thank you, my man, man. I appreciate it. God damn it. I'm pretty sure it's 13. Yeah, 13. Okay. Uh, so you're you are just like, man, this is this is great. They've got singing. Music to my ears, literally. <laughs> literally, music to your ears. Just, mwah. Yes, good. Um... Out of like just around the corner, it kind of slips your 
attention at first, and then you hear whisperings. Uh, sounds Ooh, like people. Okay. Not, not you. Uh, you okay, hear listening to music. Uh, the other two hear this. Um, you're kind of like curious. I kind of lean forward a little bit, and you see uh, a few people gather. Oh, are, are you okay? Is there, man, is there where, where's the doctor? And you see a, a man, and the sun has gone down. The moon is uh, in the sky at this point. He's probably been, I'd say, about a good 10 p.m. Well, so he's going to immediately uh, approach. Yeah, uh, can I, can I go before you to? even do that, you see uh, from your vantage point, this is you know, all the stuff that you're seeing before you move. Uh, as you see this, you see uh, a man, he's like breathing heavily, kind of like looking at the ground with a, a blood stain running down his arm. Uh, Dude. That, as you're about to move, you see his body kind of convulse slightly as his head twitches. And let me change this here real quick. Question, Gary, did I see them run at all? Like, they have not run yet. They have not moved yet. They have not oh. moved yet. Making sure I thought they ran to a This is bell music. Oh, goodness. As you see... This is not good boy energy, Guru. This is not good this boy energy. Good boy As you see this man's face elongate into a feral snarl. Oh, it's a werewolf muzzle. Eyes glinting, and because he has the surprise round, he is going to make an attack against one of the people asking him for help, or if asking if he needs help. Uh, Where am I hit. now? Yep, so you're going to see him immediately be just lean over and just chomp down on the person immediately next to him. Let me get out his stats so I can do his, uh... It's a commoner, he's dead! <laughs> oh, it's, it could be worse than that. Oh, no! Uh, you know, maybe another werewolf. One, two, three. So only three points of damage with that. But he does have a multi-attack, but first and foremost, I need to... Yep. Uh, that is a failure. As that he bites him, he leans back, and the other guy just like leaning back, blood going down his shoulder. He's like, he just starts breathing heavily, looks over at him, just like, what? And he's going to move over instead to this guy and bite at him. Actually, I don't think he can do two bites. Let me just check here. Oh shit! There it is. There's the battle. Yes. Uh, okay. So he's it's clawing cool. at this person, just raking into him, and that will hit. That will absolutely hit. Up. Oh, that's minimum damage again on that one, but max on the other. So that's plus that. He is still alive, but he is just blood sprayed on the ground as he just claws into him just and the guy's just like what the, the first person starts convulsing very slightly but i need for you all to roll me initiative he's still alive but and he's so saying guys, breathe yes you guys are over here by the way all right what? let me let me uh let me let so me i'm guessing i start hearing the screams you're going to hear the screams yes yeah you know i'm actually like oh wow this is nice music by the way, shout out to uh, Emmy, aka Miss Weeping, Mr. Weeping Bell, him slash herself, for the nice token. Oh, oh. Glad you yeah, we we still we still need to uh, we still need to get yeah. a, a token for yourself as well as. Wait, all right, hold on. Where is the people that are injured? Uh, over here. Where? Over here. Oh, okay. Uh, this person here. I'm gonna put a red dot on them. Because hey, dude, that's what I'd like to see. Hey, dude, hey. <laughs> hey, my, my man. My man. Um, hold on a second. I need Wait, to is it a 20 because of the coffee? Uh, it is a considered a skill check, so yes, it is a 20. <laughs> Bless you. That's you. Thank you. Uh, don't worry, um, Millie. Oh, that's right, uh, roll initiative. Yep, Millie, you can change yours in the initiative order. No worries. Roll for the big boy here. That is a plus his dex. Oh, right. I have to fucking add it. That's Not right. Not a super fast boy, but that's okay. I uh, I me... cannot add him. That I do not have my friend yet. Ah! Oh, he's here. Yeah, but he doesn't fight with me. He can't. Oh, imagine he's just a coward for the moment. <laughs> that's pretty much a big initiative. Oh! Yep. Wait, the oh, plus no, two yeah. mattered! Yeah. Yep. The plus two matters. The plus two does matter. I can't add myself to the turn order. Don't. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> there you go. Just change it in there to fourteen. Thank you. Whoop. And we add this for these people. Oh, they they are not they are not catching on to what's going down. They're all running in one direction though. <laughs> No, Cat, not yet. Conveniently. <laughs> um, so you you hear something 
someone scream out as you hear as you hear the the creature slash down from where you're at you can just barely see one of the people with blood coming down their arm looking just completely baffled by what just happened they just kind of look like what what I just feel so good but you uh you don't you don't see exactly what happened all you know is that someone looks like they're hurt at the moment Okay, time to screaming. get into action. Hmm? Uh, he will just jump over the fire. Uh, oh my god. Rolling a... Technically, he's taking a long jump. Okay, uh, athletics check. You jump into the fire. <laughs> just, just athletics check. Okay. Hmm? Basically, make sure he doesn't burn his balls. Essentially. <laughs> Your balls are on yeah, fire. You, it's toasty. You, you step on it, you you, 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 you you almost like like air slide across, just woof, just slide over, you, you land on the other side quickly, moving over. <laughs> Behind me, people, and you will take his spear uh, and start doing that same dance you saw before, and when he, s he spins around his entire body, then when he slams his leg down, he you notice it on this, uh, his uh, spear, along a small part of it, there's this small serrated part of it they didn't notice because oh, very small and you see he rakes his hand and twisted across that part oh jesus right, so uh, you see, uh, do that he yeah. breaks it just as his blood kind of spatters in the air you actually see the blood in the air suddenly seem to just vibrate and just back onto the blade just as it begins to crack with energy <laughs> and uh he will use the action to. Sure, let's. Let's. Yeah, let's get to action to dash. Okay. So you are, you are running straight in on this guy. You see, you are able to see that by at that point. You just. Doo, 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 doo. You you are right on top of it as it spins around. Just. Hey there, big tall and ugly. All right. Big tall and ugly. <laughs> Damn. All right, so um, you you run over and this guy here failed, so I need to roll his new HP as his form begins to shift as well. So shit. Yeah. That's why I da dashed up. I'm hoping they could be more preoccupied with me than the uh, other people. You are a brave man. However, I am not a brave woman <laughs> with my low health. <laughs> I have pretty low health too, but you know what? I'm a brave boy. <laughs> All right, I'm so a brave the, boy. The red dot. I'm not gonna. Actually, I'm gonna swap him out. His color out. Uh, I'm not gonna swap out his token just for convenience sake, but I am going to make sure that he is nice and red for you to know. He is an enemy. He is a werewolf at the moment. No okay, bud. He. Okay. Uh, he has to use an action. Let's see here, Polymorph. as an action, as his form uh, seems to convulsively just as he turns into this hybrid creature, this half-wolf, half-person staring at you with confusion and slowly sliding back into a bloodlust oh, as they boy. snarl at you. They don't move forward, but they, they've just shifted this oh, off, completely off guard. A ugly, maybe pick on somebody your own size. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh shit, it's my uh, turn, boy. Bell, it's your turn. All right, hold on a second. I need to measure things. Hoorah. 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 If it would let me. Roll 20, I swear to God, if you freeze on me right fucking now. Okay. The worst time. <laughs> All right, so I can move around there. I'm going to walk around the fire. I don't want to be riskier. Mm-hmm. Wee. Balls of steel. Mm -hmm. Just. Do, 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 do. Uh, you can see this uh, this man clearly, you know, just like slapping his chest, just like, come on at me, focus over here. All right. Um, and you do see that there are two werewolves now. Or oh, uh, that's, wolf people. That's you know. fun. Um, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna cast a uh, sacred flame. On uh, how do I how do I this ping? Uh, you click and hold. Yes, that one. All right. Uh, click the damage, and I will roll for his save. Up. Oh, click the damage. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. 
that is a two. He does not save. All right. Uh, so um. you click on where it says Sacred Flame, and it should pop up for us. There we go. So he takes six radiant damage as uh, burst of radiant fire just seems to erupt, and this person just completely caught off guard, looks down, and just like. Arr! <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Can I make an aesthetic and say that he snapped once it happened? Yes. Yeah, he, he snapped, snapped like right happens. before it. As soon as he snapped, just. Hell he, yeah, he was caught, badass. He, he, he was caught off guard as suddenly you snapped and also just caught in this radiant flame. Uh, anything Ooh. you want to do with your bonus action or. I have a bonus that action? Yeah, bonus yeah. action, yes. Oh, uh, shit. I didn't know that. Yep. I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, uh, if you don't have a, a bonus action uh, that you want to use, you, you don't have to. Uh, but certain abilities are bonus actions. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna see what else I can do. Like, uh, my character raking the uh, yep. weapon that was just. Mm -hmm. That was his Actually, bonus you know action. what? I'm gonna use my bonus action to take out my shield. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're, you're like, I want to be defense tier. Yeah. No worries. So you're, you're doing that. Uh, Wolf Boy's turn. Uh, Wolf Boy was not done with the person before him, so he turns and he jumps into them. That will certainly. Ah, uh, wait. Mm. Before I, I said before you, I said way before he hit. As he goes to hit it, mm -hmm. his eyes pull in the uh, darkness. Curse of the, uh, the curse of the eyeless. A four will not hit. <laughs> and I'd say, oops, <laughs> your eyes are mine now. Uh, does that go to the end of the turn or just for this attack? I'm going to amplify it so it's still the end of the turn. Okay. Yeah, because he was going to rake his claws at it, to, uh, the person as well. Uh, I take four damage. That's a hurt right there. Uh, even with him blinded, he does still hit with his claws. Yep. They do not have high AC. Uh, that is for six points of damage, and this guy is currently unconscious. So I'm going to put a little... Right. Uh, that's not fun. He's not dead, which he yeah. would have been. Uh, yeah. We'll put this down as just a skull and crossbones for the time being. Uh, which and I will put death saves for him if you guys want to try and revive him. Otherwise, he could die. We'll see. Yeah, what does he look like? Is he a kid or a normal person? Uh, looks like an adult man. Yeah. I just wish this token for everyone. But yeah, uh, Billy. Sure. Uh, you heard screams. Uh, you see people running over and shooting shit. What is this here? wood. It's a pile of wood that's about 10 feet tall. There's no way I can aim over it, is there? To try and arc it? No. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I would have to move around it. Shizen! <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'll make the jump. Why the fuck not? Athletics. Yeah, come on. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. Watch you fail time. this. Nope. Okay. You're just, you you also just jump and just leap over it very quickly and you just hear the, your drake in the background. Stay there. Protect any kids. <laughs> kind of snarls and kind of arches back as some of the kids are like, what's going on? Oh, that's so and sad. <laughs> I'm going to take a shot at that one. The Fire longbow. Away. Pew pew, uh, that strikes into their hide, and you just see it kind of just bounce off. <laughs> Kidding me? Nope. Did nothing. Great! I gotta get close to the fucker. Alright. Uh, the people here uh, are going to be they begin to move away. No, here we go! <laughs> they're just like humming a tune as like that da da da. Everybody <laughs> clap your hands and run. <laughs> run. Uh, this person not knowing you better find 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I just hit my wrist in a really bad way. Now it hurts. You guys want oh. to get trampled. Uh, thankfully right. they are. I mean, they, they push into you, Millie. Uh, so uh, if you're letting them pass by, you can do so. Otherwise, She's letting them pass. They, yeah, so they're, otherwise they would be a strength check. So 5, 10, 15. They're going to run an ath athletic check to try and jump son of a gun. Stop falling off the thing. Uh, nope, they fall into the fire. And they what take, the f fuck? They tripped. Uh, they take four points of fire damage as they roll out. And they're currently prone. Right here. Uh, uh, this person. I mean, you can, bruh! 
Uh, can I actually move them back real quick? Because this person, not realizing they fell into the fire, are, might trample them. Uh, natural 20, they jump over. Just avoid it, and they stop to try and help pick this guy back up. They're graceful like Swan. <laughs> I know, that was a perception check. Uh, these people in the back don't know what's going on. Uh, this person right here is also knocked prone and takes... Up, if I can select just the one, please. Knocked prone and... Get stepped on for four points of damage as this guy's running out. Man, these people are not doing so well. No, and his play is just fight. It's just pure flight. They're just trying to run yeah. as bad as yeah. possible. And these people here. Uh, 10, 30. Most of the people in the center don't know what's going on yet, so they're not running yet. Shit, uh, if I saw everyone running the other way, I think I'd run. No, not <laughs> right. this turn. I mean, they're going to do next turn. So they're seeing people running away, but right now they're like, uh, hmm. hmm okay. Uh, okay. Also, uh, people are screaming, murder! Murder this murder! Talon, uh... Hey, one of you back there, okay, do any of you have healing? Give me a bullet for him, okay. And I look to the, the first werewolf and just try to plunge my spear as deep into him as I can. Stabby, stabby, stab. 19. That will hit. That's 10 damage total. <laughs> Alright, so it takes the lightning damage, and the, the blade kind of skitters across it, but the, the lightning definitely finds purchase on it as it just, like, leans again, away from it. Just <sighs> and I'll turn to the other one, and I'll ready my bonus action. I'll ready, I'll like, ready my spear with my bonus action and use the spear mastery feat. I'll say... I dare you to take a step closer. And that'll be my turn. Uh, with him in his frenzy, he's just kind of going to step up, so... Yep, he's stepping up. Please let feet. this hit. That'll hit. 24. So, slams into it. Uh, let me see which damage is which here real quick. We have maximum damage on the right. Goodness. Goodness gracious me. And you slam into it, it just kind of stumbles back, just this... <sighs> as it's going to attempt to bite and then claw you. Uh, what's your AC? 15. Uh, that will hit then. That was a 14 for the yeah. bite. Uh, a 2 will miss, though. So I need to make a con save real quick. Uh-oh, boys, that's <laughs> no good. Uh, Yo, boy, <laughs> get in some sharp teeth soon. Yep. He's like uh, saying this. I'm like, oh no, that's not good. As he's like pointing at the bite. <laughs> as, like, as help me. Fighting him. Yep. Uh, Weeping Bell, it's your turn. You didn't give me damage. Oh, you're right. Uh, that is the for the bite. Maximum damage. That's ten points of damage. All right. Um. Sorry for whisper. I realized that's probably pretty loud. Only a wee bit laddy. I'm gonna run I am over bloody. to help my friend. Wah! Here I go. Eh. All right, and I'm going to pat him on the back and use cure wounds. Oh, he looks up to you. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, ooh, so what level can I cast uh, this yep. at? Uh, Just level you can only cast first. All right. Yep. Yeah. So get that six energy. <laughs> So you, you heal, heal him back up a little bit, and you see these uh, two over here, and they're not looking so good, but, uh... Was that my action? What, what can I do for my bonus action? Uh, with your current skills, uh, nothing that I can remember. So that, well, that was your action. And all right, your cool. Yep. Uh, the werewolf, I'm going to roll for this real quick. Natural 20, he knows that you're... I'm going to be a pain in the ass, so he is going to try and attack you again, Batalin. <laughs> uh, bite will miss, because he rolled a 7 on the die. As he goes as to he hit Batalin, as he goes to hit bite Batalin, Batalin just uses the butt end of a spear to, like, <laughs> knock up his jaw. Just, yeah. you know. And that makes his, uh, his following up claw attack just kind of whiff, sliding at the ground rather than at you. He's just... Sad. <laughs> oh. uh, Millie, it is your turn. I'm gonna regret this. Good. 
Alright. Since Duelist, if I got this, can do two attacks. So yes. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Uh, which weapon are you using? Are you using the weapons you came with, or are you using anything else? I heard a knock, and then she said crap, so I think she, uh... Oh, no. Yeah. I think Bad timing. got her attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Something tells me those snowflake short swords are still... Nope! <laughs> uh, missed so one. the first attack missed. Uh, that will hit, and... As you do so, let me actually go into your sheet real quick before you hit damage. Hold on. So you got the uh, the snowy short sword. We had someone drop in to visit. Mom's trying to get me to go out, and no! Because <laughs> I have no pants. Oh, no. That ain't going to happen. Okay, so click the damage now. As you watch a, f oh, a spray shit. of ice coalesce across each of the snowflakes and spray against this creature. That is cool, man. Billy's just staring at her weapon. I didn't know it could do that. Yep. <laughs> her eyes are, so. like, brightened. Yep. Uh, the people are now all beginning to panic because they're now realizing, oh no, murder. And Would so these things be considered fey fiend or undead? But Tom would be curious. I know they're not. But... Uh, they're not. Yeah. yeah he, he's, he's kind of noticed it from this, if I 10, 15. Oh, no, don't do that. No, stop that. Uh, I got the lamp, too. I didn't want to get the lamp. There we go. So, 15, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, these guys are all gone, so we're just going to remove them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So these guys are just on the edge. Thirty. You are not in the They're in the lock. Uh, these people are right here. <laughs> he is in the lock. <laughs> he consumed. He was consumed. Ooh. It's lock. It's lock. It's big. Uh, this person finally gets back up. Just panicking. Uh, they are Lots going to make panic. strength checks. Up. Oh, this person is not letting them through. <laughs> so they're being shoved out. Basically, it's a choke point at this point. Uh, no one seems to be hurt by it, but they're you know, they're trying their best. Turns out this uh, barricade, while helpful for keeping in the warmth, not so helpful when trying not to get, you know, trampled Killed. and such. Yeah, you know. Batalon, it's your turn. Can Batalon try to shove past this one to get behind here? Uh, you can ask... Oh, uh, to try... Oh, so we're trying to do that. Um... Make an acrobatics check. If you're, trying to jump, if, you're trying to, if you're trying to jump over it, I'd say acrobatics. If you're trying to shove, I'd say it'd be athletics. Uh, they will try and get an attack of opportunity on you. Uh, that is not disadvantage for them. They are going to try and claw at you. Technically, I'm not leaving their uh, attack of opportunity. Yes, but you're moving right between them. You're trying to force your way between their space, so they are going to try and claw you. First one misses, though, with the five, and second one misses with a seven. As you are now on and the other side of that. I will move here, mm -hmm. and I'll use my action to try to do a medicine check on this guy. Okay, uh, roll a medicine check. Actually, he opens uh, his healing potion, okay. and pours it in his mouth and closes it. Okay. And closes uh, his mouth. Roll the 2d4 plus 2. Because he did what? actually fail his first death save, not that you would know I'll that. bring your bit, come on. Okay. So, so yeah, this guy he is he is prone, but he is no longer uh he's no longer dead. I just looked at him and say, get out of here quickly and run to your family. Oh, okay. Uh it's not his turn. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. And uh, just for fun mm -hmm. bonus action. Mm -hmm. Get back to mama. No, nah, no, nah, <laughs> that's good. You're fine. Okay. Uh so the werewolf uh, seeing that you healed, since you kind of did it out in the open and heard the voice and such, uh, actually, let me check something real quick. In. We can the go. dog is wagging her tail so fucking fast uh, that I'm getting a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that would probably feel nice. Yep. It's hot in my room. Yeah, it is, is going to try and attack you, Weeping Bell. Alright. Uh, that will not hit. 
Uh, what's your AC? 18. Uh, so a plus 4 to hit, that's a 20. So claws will hit. Alright. Uh, for, for 5 points of damage. Alright. As it rakes into you. Alright. Uh, it's bite attack though, just kind of cleaned off your uh, your clothes and you, your armor hidden underneath it. It kind of leans back, just surprised, just like, wait, what? Surprise, motherfucker! Yep. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Alright, it's now your uh, turn. Well, Weeping Belt did not really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. So, I'm going to take out my... I'm going to put away my shield first. Take out my Great Club, because I know that's two-handed. Okay. Um, and I'm going to fucking whack him! Whack him! Whack him face! Whack a mole. Whack a mole. Whack a mole. Uh, that will hit, and you as you slam it into him, just ready to go. It kind of gives us a little. <sighs> kind of looks at you, just completely nonplus, just kind of just like, really? It, it does not look to be affected by that. Knowing TJ of Blood Hunters, would I... I would loosely know what these things are. Uh, roll a Arcana check then. Was, I'll say you can't because like, you're a Blood I... Hunter. Can Actually, I um, check to see how the fuck why that? Uh, is no, happened? brother. Roll an arcana was... check because you're a cleric, so you might. I was know gonna ask about if this. I could roll like perception to see if it, if I notice no, anything. I don't know shit. This thing. Perception. Oh. I'll allow it. Um, fucking shit. So just as, as a reaction, I'll say that you can. Yep. Um, they do not like they took damage from you slashing it with the short sword, uh, but with the the great club, they just completely ignored it. And every time that Batalin has been slashing at them, the blade itself is skittered across, like, almost as though it's not even piercing them, but the lightning has arced across their form. So, would I know, like, you know, oh, this means that, like, actual elemental damage is what's do what's going to do it? Uh, elemental damage would be what you could presume of that, yes. So she's just going to call that out to them. <laughs> yep, uh, you do also notice that um, your sword... Uh, when it cut into them, it there, it was a slight spray of blood. My uh, my spray is magical, but my lightning is. <laughs> lightning. <laughs> my lightning is. I love it. Um, also, are you going to move before uh, anything else goes? Because uh, you do have your domain tricks that I'm just going to remind you of. Because you know, first time using this. Huh. Did you want to be next to Millie, or did you want to be next to Batalin? Emmy? What's, what's your domain? Thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, yep, give her a moment, she's thinking. Uh, yeah. well, this, this music really intense for thinking. <laughs> intense uh, music distraction. You know, I'll, move, I'll move next to... Batalin. Right okay. here. So you, you move around this person as they stare at you with your great club. Uh, let's see here. Roll, because there's three of you. Uh, yeah, the, it sees you move up close, and it's going to try and hit you. That's fine. Uh, with a 13, it's not going to hit you. And that's going for Batalin. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, but a 10 will not hit. As it <clears throat> tries to claw at him, it just bounces off your armor and then claws at him just in a frenzy. Uh, thankfully, it did not roll a, a 6 on the d6, otherwise it would have attacked the guy who's currently prone on the ground. Uh, Millie, your turn. Fuck it. Because I noticed this. Uh, that will hit. Uh, which one are you hitting? Oh, uh, this one. The core? Uh, as you slash into it, it kind of arcs his back away, just... And then you stab it again. Alright. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'll figure that out later. We're in the middle of combat. So you slash and stab at him, and he just leans away, just... I definitely did not appreciate that, but currently you've, you're poking and prodding at him. So that's your action and your bonus action. Uh, people are still fleeing. Uh, the people here. Please tell me this dude disengages. Oh yeah, he dis he's gonna disengage. He's, he's in a panic. Thank he fuck. does. Uh, he's going to basically be rolling away from it. <laughs> Stop that roll! Like Stop that roll! 
Uh, these people, I'm gonna say, are gone. As is that table, apparently. Table. <laughs> so pick up the table like we gotta go. <laughs> Snatch and run, y'all. They, they, uh, actually, no, they'd be it was dashing their table. as well. They Whoa, did. don't do that. Uh, no, this person, these people are beginning to dash now that they're no longer moving through difficult terrain. So they are gone. Uh, they, they grab the table and says like the pies. Is this guy moving? <laughs> so they, yeah, he, he rolls away for ten feet to disengage and then gets himself up. So that's his action is. Fifteen feet plus ten feet, so he, he's start. He's starting to run away. He's not quite getting very far, but he's doing his best. All right, Guru, attack at me with an attack of opportunity. Because uh, Vitalin's okay. moving himself in between uh, him and the guy. Oh, wait, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't evoke an no, attack no, from, of opportunity from, from from this one. Oh, from that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Emmy, uh, he got an eight, a twenty on the die. Would you like to use your reaction? What What can I do with the reaction? Uh, one of your domain things. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, if you let's... look at your domain stuff, uh, it should be on uh, the third one down on your features and traits. The third one down. Okay, let's. All right. I think you know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the uh, radiant defense thing. Uh, that's on your turn. The one oh. right above it you can use as reaction anytime. One right above it. Okay. Yeah, first time playing cleric, I'm just making sure she knows what she can do. Uh all right, um five feet of me. Yeah, which, he was right next is... to you. He he was right next to you. Oh, okay. So, so you I can do that as he's that. running? Yes. Alright, I'll do that then. I'll do the okay. Shield of the Faithful. Okay. So, uh, as you're moving, uh, the creature's reaching out to slash at you. Uh, 20 would have hit, but you all of a sudden just see the Great Club just come up and just smack into his hand to try and deflect it. Uh, and with a... <laughs> bad! With an, uh, with an 11, uh, the, that bad dog is not able to hit you, so you are able to move Thank really... you, sister! Uh, brother. She's a sister. Oh, yeah, brother. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they have long hair confused. Sorry, no the worries. long hair really uh, confuses people. Okay, uh, <laughs> go ahead and stab away. I saw uh, that will miss. And I, just in case, I just look to them high and say, I just start screaming at it. Ah, uh, come uh, and I'm trying gonna to get his attention. Just try to jaw it. Yep, and okay. I'm gonna ready my bonus, ready my spear, my bonus. All right. So if it attacks you, it'll have uh, that hit it. Okay. That's if it comes within five weird. feet of me. Uh, the one there, it can reach Millie and Weeping Bell, so uh, that's Weeping Bell that is trying to hit. Uh, but with a 7, it does not hit. I'm gonna try cool. and hit Weeping Bell again. Okay, it yeah. is frustrated by your armor. Um, does an 18 hit? My AC is an 18, so I oh, yeah. Well. Uh, you also said you put away your shield, so it actually will be a 16. Yeah. Uh, that is six points of slashing damage as it rakes you with its claws. Oof. Oh, oh, fellas, I'm not doing so well. I ain't got no blood curses left. I did yeah. the one for the god. Uh, Weeping Bell, it's your turn. If you'd like, you can uh, use your action for that channel divinity on uh, either Mildred or Batalon, your choice. Or you can, I think you can do it on yourself as well. If the wording on that's correct, it might be on an ally you can see. Uh, yeah. Or you can heal yourself. Uh, hold on a second. It did six points. Ooh. Oh, and oh. into an ally. Oh, no, no, no. For the uh, damage it did on me. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it did six damage, yeah. I'm in critical condition. <laughs> um. Oh, no. You are in critical condition. So uh, you can heal, you can channel. What would you like to do? Or you can cast does a... Cure, does cure wounds only... Uh... Does cure wounds only work on... You can use it on yourself. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna fucking do that. Fuck the shit. <laughs> Fair enough. So you're just like, and cure wounds. Help me. I pat I, I pat myself on the chest. Mm -hmm. Just uh, tap the chest. Woo! That hurt. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. It's, it's like, uh, chest burn. Chest burn. <laughs> chest burn. Yeah. So you, uh, you heal yourself five hit, hit points back. Uh, a, a bonus action. I'm fucking taking out my fucking shield again. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, <laughs> like no. you know what? Maybe this is a good idea. 
Okay, so you have your shield back out, ready to go. Uh, if you want, you can move uh, down without a, a provoking attack opportunity to right, right here. Uh, that would not provoke a attack opportunity because you'd still be within the threatening spaces. Uh, that would put you within five feet of Batalon if you need it. Alright, I'll do that. Which I, again, help, I'm helping you out because this is your first time doing cleric stuff. Move down one and be like, oh, hi, bigger boofer. <laughs> bigger boofer. <laughs> yep. Uh, speaking of the bigger boofer, it's going to... Like, three targets. Uh, you, new new target is the target, so Emmy, he's trying to bite you. Uh, but with don't. a seven, he does not. So, Thank God. I, uh, I got, I got ten on me. I ain't doing so yep. well. Batalan, he is trying to bite you. So you if you insist. Yep, you get your... If you insist! Get your attack on that. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Emmy, do you want to use your action? Uh, sure. I'm going to do the same thing. I. Yep. The shield of the face. Yep. Uh, which I believe you said your AC is above a 13. So that would It's miss. a 15. Yep, so that you just see the that shield just kind of boof it right in the side of its face. Just wham! Just no. Bad dog. As its claw just kind of goes wide. Uh, oh, uh, which you do get your, you said you've set in to attack this thing, right? That's not, I not that one, no, the other one. It's, uh, look, it's basically, if they, if that one would have came within five feet of me at all, oh, the one I would have got it. to attack it. The one behind it. Me. Okay. He didn't come within five feet, though, so yep. no. And his claw attack, that is a 14 to hit, that does miss. So, Ooh. <laughs> Very close. You 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 almost felt it rake across the leather straps. You was like, I'm glad I'm wearing these. I've got the moves like Jagamon. <laughs> Don't no. laugh too hard, Millie. It's your turn. Oh goodness. Uh, I'd have to take an attack of opportunity from this fucking. You can disengage. But that'll be your action. No. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, fuck it, I'll take it. Did you prepare your... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm curious Wait, what you're doing. Prefer. I'm oh, moving oh. over to Weeping Bell. Okay, uh, so that uh, is a tech of opportunity on you. Uh, but that is a 13. That does not hit. Yep. As you and just... she's gonna... <laughs> she's gonna, like, put her hand to your shoulder. I can't do a lot, but I can do something. Uh, you get back 9 HP oh, as suddenly... Uh, Cure Wounds just runs across your form, and you're just like, oh man, that feels great. Oh, you're feeling much better. Uh, uh, I have 10, so my max is 16. Do I get, like, temporary hit points, or is you it just not. max? I guess, yeah, yes, oh. you get back up to max. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> He's gonna look yeah. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for this? Am I? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Is it my turn, or is it yours uh, still? Uh, do you have any bonus actions you yeah. want to use? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, in that case, I'm just gonna attack the, the fucking one I've got. Yeah. Uh, no, you, you no, can't you, you do did, that. You made, you oh, did make I an can't. attack, yeah. Damn! I don't have anything then. Unfortunately. Okay. Unless I can so hold no. action as a bonus action. <laughs> uh, you can't. Yeah, no. <laughs> yep, but, uh, Batalin, uh, the guy right in front of you is missing something fierce. Missing something fierce. Okay, I'm not going for him. What I'm gonna do mm -hmm. is from behind him, Batalon's gonna jump up, use Spear Mastery as a bonus action to extend the spear's range by five feet, and stab the one behind the other werewolf. Uh, make, gonna... make an athletics check for the for the high jump. Just you, you get just high <laughs> enough to be able to just jab it over without any kind of disadvantage, and that will hit. All right, as you crackle and slam against it, as it kind of arcs back a little, just... Where'd that come from? <laughs> Where'd that go? <laughs> I did a little shrug. Uh, <laughs> with a perception check of eight, he does not know. All, all he knows is that suddenly there's lightning slamming against his shoulder. All he knows is pain! <laughs> Actually, no, his perception check would be a 12. Uh, he, he would have an idea, but let me see if he's going to... Just, uh, nope, he's going to attack at you. Millie, but that's a 13 to hit. And he's going to attack, try and bite at our cleric again. Uh, with a 14, that does miss. Is this one running yet? It's not his turn. 
Oh no, yeah, it was his turn. It was his turn before you. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he dashed. Five, yeah. 15, 20, he's running home. 35, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's 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 booking it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I deleted the person who was uh. Yeah, I know. I, I noticed. That yeah, was my I noticed that to make Thank sure. You. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, so uh, this wolf person is a. Uh, Actually, I'm also going to roll something else for this person, because... Yeah, is no, everyone... Frenzied. Is everyone, like, away now? Every the single person? The majority of the people. Yes, uh, your drake went with the kids, as okay, you told good. them to protect. And they are doing it protect. Uh, Weeping <laughs> Bell, it's your turn. Alright, so... I I zoom in on you I guys. I'm going show off that nice to... art of Emmy. Oh, thank you. I'm going to use Guiding Bolt. Okay, on um, which one? Uh, the one with the red dot. Okay, so you're turning to the one uh, who tried, who just tried to attack you, and you're just like, yes. no, Can I do an Just so you know, you have disadvantage. Yeah, it is a, it is a ranged attack. Mm, can I and back up a little bit? You can. They, they would try and attack you, just so you're aware. Unless, okay. Uh, unless How you stay within the range. You take I one re No, you they can. both took their reactions. Oh, they both did. That's right. Because they both tried yeah. to attack her. Right, right over yeah, here. you're good. Okay, but, so you, you can back up. Yep, so you... Yeah, you can actually you move right here if you want. Because uh, they all use right the reactions. Here? You could you could move right here okay. because they both use I'll the reactions. That. If you want to move back there okay. and uh, aim um, fire. What's your aesthetic? Yeah. Uh, making my hands into like a finger gun thing and just you know, clicking it up as it shoots it. Finger gun. You're just like you're finger darting and you're just like, hey. He, had, he does aim. a lot of things with his fingers. Yeah. Yep. Finger finger uh, darts. A and fire away. Alright, cool, hold on, gotta get to it, gotta get to it. I was reading it, like, over and over again, like, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. Yep. That will hit. Uh, the click, one... Click on that damage. <laughs> Jeez. It did. Uh, you know, that, that is exact. that is one point over its health as you just, you, uh, you finger dart it, you're just like, hey, it kinda looks at you just like, Arr! and then all of a sudden this bolt of white energy that looks like, um, a battering ram just shoo, slams into his chest, knocks it off his feet, just and it is out of the fight. Oh and, my god, I fucking did. Yep. <laughs> and its form does shift back into the form of a of a woman. I want to see this thing run. Tell me it runs, please. Tell me it runs. Uh, let me see if it does. Uh, just, just, no. Uh. It seems to realize that it's uh, outmatched and outgunned. Uh, it's trying to get a hold of itself. Let me see here if there's anything else about the rules of this, just to make sure. Nope, he is. Uh, let me roll on a d6 real quick, because it got out of Kiva. Let's see what we got. Uh. Yeah, he's gonna take. Actually, no, he's close enough that you guys can't take an attack of opportunity because he's gonna instead try and attack the person who just blew away the person that he uh, turned into a werewolf. So he's gonna try and attack you with a nibble nap. Uh, I'm guessing a 20 hits. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Constitution save, fucking... please. Hold on. Mm -hmm. My whole thing just fucking froze. Yep. Constitution, here we go. You save, and you, you take four points of piercing damage. Thank uh, God. As its hands slash against your armor and just kind of go cling, and as its claws ineffectually do not damage you. Cool. All right. Millie, it is your turn. Uh, you said try to get a hold of itself, but I noticed it. What is it? What do you mean by that? Uh, it looked like it was shaking his head, blinking for a second as it was, like, almost considering doing something else, and then its eyes just kind of narrowed and turned towards Okay, I thought you were going to say it was trying to turn back, but in that case... It, it looked like it might have been, but at the same time... Turn back time to the good old oh. day. <laughs> uh, you made me miss by singing that. <laughs> uh, that will hit, though. Alright, that is for... Nice, nice. As you slice and dice into this thing, another you see, an, again, another spray of blood just carve up the side of this thing. Uh, looking fairly bad, but it's uh, 
you know, it's uh, still happening. Uh, Batalin, it is your turn. Yeah, man. That'll hit. Uh, okay. Slams into it. it. Snarls and looks down at the damage being dealt to it as it kind of, again, his eyes darting between. Uh, death saving throw. Success. Uh, so this is one against that, so this I'll say is a, a blue dot. Mm. I can remove that because it's, uh, so right now, one saving throw, that's succeeded. Uh, Weeping Bell. It's still up? Oh, it's unconscious! Yeah, that, that, that one right there is a person that you could save if you wanted, but it, Got it. is out of the fight. Right, I'm gonna uh, fucking snap and do the uh, Sacred Flame thing again. Okay. Uh, when you say snap, I imagine like Tobey Maguire, Spider Man 3. Get a load of this. <laughs> he would not say some kind of quip like that. I imagine when he did the finger gun thing, he whistled for its attention because it's a doggo, but that's it. That is. Oh my god. Somewhere my guard's rank like, raises his fucking head. <laughs> right. Uh, here we go. Alright, deck save. Uh, dexterity is only, that's an 11. That takes four points of radiant damage. Still up. Good. Jesus these Christ these things aren't immune to non magical, right? You don't know. Okay, I don't think I thought they were just resisted. Yep, yeah, like I said, um, Paris's blade seems to be doing blood. Yours is scraping across the fur. Oh, I think I know. Let's let me roll another thing for this thing. Nope. <sighs> See what the out of character, I will, I will ask you after this fight out of character because I okay. think I know what the hell it is. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Uh, you all get the tax of opportunity against it. 15. That hits. We do what? You all get a tax of opportunity against it. That hits. I don't think I can hit it with anything. If you have oh, a weapon on hand, the... you can. Okay, um, I'm going to use my mace, though I don't okay. think it's going to do much. Okay. I'm gonna whack it. Okay. How would you all like to do this? Can I just yeet it into its back as it's running? <laughs> just throwing your spear into his back. I'm gonna bonk him on the head. <laughs> just bonk. Oh, I shish kebab it and they stab it as I stick it in the back of the oh, knee. Oh, yes. Like I just try to stab it and it's, uh, what oh. is it, Achilles heel. If you're gonna do that, then, uh,. My boy is gonna like literally just smash its fucking head. <laughs> yeah, oh, me <laughs> Alright, so all three of you between you uh yeeting your spear into his back, the blade just slams into the side and then bonk on the head, you just see it crumple down just and I'll just Warm. yank the spear out. Yep. Uh as it I am immediately shifting. Seen. Uh <laughs> It lo it's shifting back into a humanoid form. Clothes are completely ripped off of its torso. Uh, oh, so it's so naked. Pants, uh, so pants. Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> sure, sure was ripped off when it. Uh, incredible Hulk rule. In incredible Hulk <laughs> rules. Hulk rule. Uh, as it looks up at you, it its eyes kind of like have this fading look of just you know someone dying, as they say. Please. <laughs> Free the alpha? Uh, can I try to use healing hands on this son of a bitch? Uh, the guy on the ground? Hey, no, yes. wait, 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 wait. Okay, Don't what? deal it. You hear no, that thing, uh, it, it might come back and attack again, it, Mark. Uh, it As might. he's preparing, he's like rubbing his hands, about to yeah. do the clear, and then he looks over, he's like, oh, you're right. Uh, flee <laughs> the alpha, is what he said. Not free. Flee. Oh, flee the I'm alpha. I'm healing the person beside me. Okay. Alright, so that, yeah, they would have failed their next day death saving throw, so you heal them back up to five. Uh, they are considered stable. Uh, they are looking up just, like, their eyes are just this wild look of someone just gritting their teeth. Let me actually roll wisdom save for them. She's going to stand on it to pin them. <laughs> uh, you pin them now? Okay, hold on. Let's see how... Uh, they are, they're able to keep hold of themselves just barely, and they're just like... <sighs> Don't do anything <sighs> stupid. 
Do you want to die? And this is the actual question, not a threat. I'm actually curious. Do you want to keep living like werewolf or want to? Batalin. Yes. Roll me a wisdom save. No, okay, damn wrong. Why wisdom save? Oh dear. Because I got bit on a con save. Oh, that's right. You. You hear whispers. Oh. Huh. You, only you. Only you hear it. This. Just this faint. But they fade out as you just kind of... You just basically shove it down through sheer force of will. Just, no, man. It's I, I trying got to time for this. These things are trying to spread its terrible propaganda into my mind. This is not working, though. <laughs> How dare you give me this terrible propaganda? You cannot... You this cannot is fool terrible me. politic. Get out of here. How dare oh. you try and give me this terrible political correctness? I know... I know better. Wait, wait, if this thing... If this thing working for evil people that try to kill innocents, do we kill it or... It didn't kill anyone. It tried. I, the only reason somebody is alive is because that guy, because I got that guy out. It might be a werewolf, but it's still a person under that. What is werewolf? Well, uh, we just fought. Yeah, yeah you neither. Of you, you don't fought. know what it is either. Remember, you rolled a six in your arcana check. Oh, so I'm just so, calling it a werewolf. I'm not a wolf person. A Change wolf person, wolf yeah. Person. Wolf person. It's a, it's a wolf person. You you have it's no idea person. what's going on with this, but this right. is some hanky janky magic. This is some hanky janky magic shit. I'm gonna assume I cannot roll Arcana. <laughs> no, you've never okay. heard of these things in the magic. Nah, this is not related to dragons. All right, so that's what I'm gonna say. Mm, Interesting. Wolf people. Yep. Uh, the Curious other person question. Is, now that you've mentioned that. But well, that can be advantage on draconic things, now, since I know dragons. Uh, no. Uh, Damn! Uh, on certain draconic knowledge, yes. I will I will allow it for certain ones, but we will discuss that in the future. Future. In the future. So, uh, let me, uh, so, you sure I shouldn't give this the old double... The double what? Double, double tap. tap. If they try to hurt people again, I guess we won't have no choice but to fight it and kill it. Unless there's a cure for this. There might um, be. But for now, we need to focus on getting this person back. Okay. And, uh, I'm she's gonna move you guys back over to the original one. Alright, cool. Um, hey, people, uh, so... just... Uh, Batalon would scream out, Hey, people, we got rid of your wolf prop. Uh, as, you, <laughs> as you say this, you see a little head pop up. See a familiar gnome popping up just like, Oh man, that's that's really good. You did that. He moves over. He's just like, "Any of you get bit?" Oh, I did, man. Uh, oh, that's that's not good. Hold on, here. He, he's like, "Hey, let me let me just come come. You, you, look, you're tall. Come down here." Uh, yeah, he sure. Felt, like, I'll get on me. But he doesn't uh, say anything as he's rubbing his hand and about to use healing hands. Yep. Uh, he's looks you over. He's doesn't look to be healing. Uh, actually, um, Emmy, roll me a Arcana check. Is this boy a paladin? <laughs> he's saying that he's like around poking at the gnome. Uh, you, as you watch him doing this, uh, you see, uh, Batalin, you don't see this because he actually like hooks his arm like where you were bit and kind of moves your arm just very gently so you're not you know hurting yourself. But as he's doing so, his hands do glow for a moment, and you you feel you hear that whispering in the back of your mind, just kind of like it's something just like grabbing it like a, a veil being pulled away from the back of your mind and then just shoop, gone what? eventually the, the guy kind of nods and he's just like yep, uh, you'll be right as rain uh, uh, miss uh, do you have uh, a way to you know help him what do you mean, what do you, mean? you you're still wounded I was just looking to see if it hurt oh uh, any no I'm fine uh, oh. also, I'm going to private message you this, Emmy. Cool. Do I have healing hands this motherfucker? I'm out of spells. Question, uh, Mr. Gnomish Man, what yeah. do you think we should do with these two wolf people? Well, we'll bring, one's we'll, dead. We'll bring him to the... No, unconscious. We'll bring him to the cells to, you know, keep him, keep an eye on him, figure out what's going on. There, there's obviously a way to help with this, uh... Also, do you already have wolf people in your custody? Which people? Wolf people. 
one of them is not dead, I'm gonna use healing hands on them, I just haven't had the already, opportunity yet. I already healed the one that was unconscious. No, what about the other werewolf that we were like, oh, should we bring him back to life? Uh. The one on the ground? Uh, oh, then use it on him. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. That's a, oh, that's a success, failure, failure. He's dead. Oh, well, I guess it's not bring him back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he he's dead. Uh, is it here? Yeah, this uh, prosperous music, and then just all of a sudden he did. <laughs> my, uh, is his eyes open? Because if so, I'm gonna have uh, weeping yep. bell like slowly close them. Yep. So you just gently place a hand on his eyes, and, and I'm going to them. uh do a little, little prayer, like kneel down in front of him and do a little prayer. This was an experience. Yeah. Uh, the gnome actually looks at the guy as you close his eyes. Okay, he like pauses and he flinches, like just like. That's, that's, that's Benny. He's a baker. He he made some of the pies. I... Hey, do you think maybe whatever that Benny also got that alchemist guy you were talking about? Since you know he hasn't been seen in a. I I, I don't know. I. I... Varus was always a, he was always kind of the loner type when he wasn't, you know, making, like, again, he made all these, you know, potions and such to help people. I, I, I doubt it, but I haven't seen him yet. I, well, I'll get some people to look around for him. Maybe, maybe he's hurt. Maybe, hopefully he's not having an issue like this, because, oh, yeah, wait, let's. Let's focus on the one that we can save for the moment. Yeah, let's let's take her along. Uh, she's she's still growling, just gently, but just kind of like just like. Please. Don. Mm -hmm. Could I pick up the dead one with like like bridal style and be like, what are we doing with this? <laughs> uh, you can. Uh, it, it's right. not. It's not going. It is not going to contest you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would really so hope not. And I'm gonna look to the people and be like, uh, is there a graveyard or anything that we can do a yeah. proper bur yeah i can um i can lead you to it no worries that just um all right keep motions for you to to follow him as he do you know if ben had any family that we should notify of this no he was he was a loner I, he had just moved in two years back made some damn good sweet rolls that's actually why we how we got uh, some of the recipes for the mince meat pie is uh oh. he made great Let's just follow me. Got motions. All right, he follows. I'm gonna tie up the girl before I pick her up. She, she does not resist. She's like, tears are rolling down the sides of her face as she's trying to figure out what happened. Uh, oh, clean. she her cleaning my spear from okay. the blood. Yep. Uh, when do you, I recognize this woman? Uh, you do not. She was not one of the people that you'd spoken with. Uh, she was one of the mothers. Oh yeah, I'm definitely having her fixed. So you take her away to take her down into the the jail cell area where a lot of people they've shut themselves in very quickly, uh, trying to you know stay away from this sudden wolfish violence. <laughs> violence, yeah. I need you guys to clear out. Where the jail? Yeah, the jail cell, so they don't yeah, get the, the, like snatched if she loses it. Yeah, there, there's a there's a cell and. Uh, you're able to put her in there, and she again, she's not fighting it. Uh, cl you close her in, and she's just in. She like kind of curls up in a corner, just staring at her hands as she. Uh, they are covered with some blood, and she's been spitting a it's, few times on her way back from where she so bit sad. down. Right. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, if you bring like her son or daughter into this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight you. You know down. he's gonna. That's what I'm mentally prepping for. I'm gonna fucking fight him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have. Uh... Weeping Bell come out of the screen and fucking slash you, I swear. He uh, just karate kicks out of the screen. <laughs> right. He jumps out like, I'm here, bitch. And, I'm, and Em's not happy. <laughs> I'm gonna move over to... I'm gonna try and find my guard drinks, because I'm sure he's effectively corralled the kids. Uh, you take about ten minutes to find him. Uh, he's at the tavern. Uh, the kids were all herded there. Big enough room to keep them housed. Uh, two of them are playing, basically, um, they're playing Flight of the Gulls, 
where you have you know someone on their back lifting the kids off and they're like arms are to the sides uh, mm -hmm. but with him he's got two on his paws uh, four paws and two on his hind legs as he's trying to keep them both balanced a little bit precariously but he's oh he's trying to keep them happy and distracted he, he, <laughs> or he, he, he's going to boy. drop one of them he kind of like like he like lays down completely still as he kind of arcs his head to look at you all like kind of like lizard like just like sticks out his tongue blin. and all all like three kids like look over at you and they also blin. teaching them <laughs> All right, little ones, jump off the Drake. Aww. You can play with him later, I promise, all right? Yay! Right now, right now we have to get out of this building. I'm yeah, sure your parents uh, are really uh, looking for you. Uh, the, the owner's like, they don't, know where, they don't know where they're at. This is this is probably the safest place for them right now. Just stay here, stay here. Just, we got rooms, we got places. It's a big sleepover. <laughs> he kind of looks at you just like, with a, just run with me on this, please. Kind of look. All right, all right. They they're oh, like, hey, can can we can we all can we all have the drake? And they're like, all of them just like swarm onto your drake as they're like, please. He can stay with you until I come back. All right. <sighs> he just like rustles up into them. They're all like giggling as he's like shaking them off. He's a dad. He's a drake. <laughs> Dr drad. He's, he's a drad. Move. He's a drag he's dad. He's gonna move up and kneel in front of them. But I will need him back if I have to leave. All right. They're like, no, don't leave. Stay with us. We want to keep him around. He's so cute. One of them like grabs his frills and kind of tugs him to the left. One takes him to the right. He's just, he's just like laying it happy, just boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Still with a goofy grin on his face. He's like, I'm popular. I'll have to leave if I want to keep you guys and this town safe for a bit. All right. Okay. One of them kind of just like lays their head on his the back of his neck, and then you hear this little ching ching ching, and like one of them's like, "Yay!" And he just like shakes his head, just the bells just jingling around. Still got the fucking bells on him. Yep. I forgot about that. As you, I, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm honestly in my head wondering where Millie is in this crowd. The, uh, other the, Millie. <laughs> the, the other Millie. The uh, other Millie. She she's uh, behind his legs, just like laying on him, on, like laying on his like uh, back part of the saddle, just pl like plucking at some of the little furs on it, just like one, two, three, four, seventeen, twenty-three, hundred, forty-two. Considering she would I count. would I be, would I be able to place which which kid is hers, like the uh, one in the cell. Uh, Roll a perception check. Mm. There's a lot of faces here, and they may have taken after their dad. You don't see which one of them is the the child of this mother. Damn. <laughs> I was trying to base it off seeing like all the parents come and collect their kids. Uh, yeah, you know they didn't collect this. Uh, their kid uh they were one of those who stayed kind of just making sure it's like no don't go running too fast and all the kids were basically saying we won't at the same time so it's hard to place which one of them was uh towards this woman all right she's gonna head off to find the rest of her party because mm -hmm. uh, now her drake has been kidnapped by a bunch of fucking semi-toddlers <laughs> uh is weeping bell still at the graveyard are at the graveyard with this man as he uh, kind of just sits down next to the body just kind of he kind of like squats down next to them just kind of all right uh, turns them over. is it like a you know just like a regular old like you know dig it up put the body in mm -hmm. do things Sorry, like that I'm back. Right. family back. member out of nowhere that's totally no fine worries. it happens um, it's one of those so, I'm, so i'm gonna uh mm -hmm. is there a shovel nearby or am i fucking i, I assume I we're burying the body but what about uh, what uh, i am uh, there's a shovel nearby. Uh, you, you're not doing this with your hands. I'm <laughs> with her, just w I mean, yeah. with him waiting, just like he's half expecting this thing to jump back out. Of the he, grave. He's like, he's, like, he's ah. just like, he's just like, don't you do it? <laughs> oh, don't do it. <laughs> but, like he's like staring down, like, mm. <laughs> all right. So he's digging the gently, very meticulously, and gently uh, put down the body so it's nice and safe and comfortable. Mm -hmm. He'll uh, bury it back up, pat it down. Is there any flowers nearby? Uh, like maybe some I can like pick out of somewhere. Uh, uh, very few. It is winter, and so most of them have uh, died. But there are a few that look like they were grown by uh, the gnome, and they're still tended to. All right. Um, I'm gonna 
look at our gnome from and be like, "May I?" As I'm reaching for the flowers. That's the purpose of them. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't mind. All right. He uh, takes out the flowers. He gently puts them near the gravestone. Very nice, assorted. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's a mess. Right. Uh, and he takes a step back, looks over him, says something like, uh, "I may have not known you, but you will be missed." Amen. Makes a bowing gesture. A friend who was always uh, wanting to learn this sort of stuff, but she couldn't be here quite yet, so that's a, that's a darn shame. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting this for Winter Festival. Of course, it was supposed to be a happy festival. I'm going to go to the gnome and slightly pat his head mm-hmm. to come for him. He, he it's it's very eyes. awkward, yeah. Pat, though. Yeah. He, he rolls his eyes a little bit, just like, I'm not a kid. I, Run around, I doing all sorts of stuff. I'm not good. sure if a hug would be appropriate. Ah, hug's fine. What'd you say there? You're still... No. Ceremonies where I am, from where I'm from, are quite different. I'll take your word at it. He kind of just grins, and he, he gives you, like, a half hug, because he's, you know... You know I'm, it's one Who? of those, like, uh, the gnome gives you a half hug. Okay, I'm I'm still like it's like kind of awkward. I like stiffen up and then I just like slightly pat its back or something. I'm not mm-hmm. used to affection. Mm-hmm. No worries. And he just kind of stares down. Just <sighs> again. I'm sorry, you. You had to fight this this thing. I've been trying it's... to get words out here for a while to prevent such things, it's just that you know, with everything going on right now, it's, it's like people are too I don't know they just, they, they haven't sent anyone quite alright, it is in my code of honor to protect what are you by the way you were able to heal, so I am in, uh, I am interested oh, I am a newly found cleric Oh, that's interesting. How about you, gnome guy, who I intentionally meant to ask questions to, but realized I should have specified that I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Like, <laughs> Daily Weeping Bell just fling. Die away at a little just, <laughs> just like. He's got like the. It's, com- it's almost like the very still, like, blinking gif. <laughs> All I can think was like the cartoon blink where it's literally just their eyes. Blinked, so right, <laughs> just staring. He's completely still. Uh, he kind of pauses, just like, ah, sorry about that. Uh, let me see here real quick. My notes. Yes, believe it or not, I do have notes on this. Which actually, uh, you guys would know that I have notes on these gods because they're the same gods that I had mentioned to you guys before. Where is the Maldrod, uh, worshiper and follower of uh, the passing of the grave? Uh, much good it's done me right now, but at the very least I can keep an eye out on people like this. Pets the ground where this guy's fallen. Your Better to have him well. dead and buried than to have him, you know, rising up and causing issues. I heard one time that there was a you're not gonna believe this. Uh, kind of, he like leans back. He's like clearly. I uh, make an insight check, actually. Both of us, or just him? Both of you. Or, both of you. Or him. He's talking to both of you. So both of you. All right. If you will let me scroll down. <laughs> yeah, Batalon actually is proficient in insight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me roll for him real quick. Yep. Uh, you can see it's not a, a nervousness. It's like he's he's going into a, a coping mode where he's just leaning back, acting like your old friends, even though it's clear his eyes are very distant. Uh, he's disassociating, from, damn it. He, he, he's disassociating, oh, yeah. Oh, he's trying to cope. The yeah. Poor thing. <laughs> yeah. As he, he leans against a headstone, just kind of like just pulls out a, a pipe and just. Would I have made it back by now? You're, can you're I coming take up out on my this. slice of pie and give him a slice? You can. You uh, still he... have pie? She still yes. has pie. She boxed up her pie to take with her. Yeah, I have a ve- um, I take very small slices. He's a man who likes to uh, worship his pumpkin pie. So <laughs> he's gonna uh, 
offer a very small slice. Since that's how he cuts his stuff, if you want to. Please, God, tell me I come into just him yeah, unboxing yeah, the pie so Millie can have that exact reaction. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Why do you still have that? Holy crap. I packaged it. He just answers in like the most simplest duh ways ever. Yep. <laughs> then he's gonna uh, hold over the pie and to the gnome and be like, would, would you like some? He takes some. It's just, I. He, he takes a, a bite of it. It's, he's like, he just takes it in his whole hand. Just like, just takes a chunk out of it. Just, I mean, it's, it's better than the time when I, uh, I remember I was with a group of people, walking through a town, and uh, you know, you you never think, you never think just how how crafty some necromancers get. He takes a puff on his pipe. Oh. Oh, do you have a problem with uh, the uh, the wolves uh, that we killed? Oh, with the ones you killed? Oh no, I'm just worried about the. I'm just remembering a time when some necromancer got a hold of a a person who had lycanthropy, had them bite people to turn them, killed them, and then raised them into lycanthropic zombies. Zombies? That's a yeah. thing. That sounds no. pretty wild, there, brother. It, he he kind of motions. He's like. You're it's telling me this is the sort of place that it's not supposed to have stuff like that. We're, so, uh, we're common folk. We're simple folk. I mean, t I mean, the fact that you guys even were able to do anything is impressive in and of itself. Oh, yeah. by the way, um, I'm going to have uh, Weeping Bell like sit down next to him, kind of like in a crisscross way, and pack his pie again. <laughs> of course. I am just happy to be able to help them. I am too. Yeah, that... Takes another bite. He's just like he's like shoving a piece of the pie in his mouth. Just. Hey, are you like a holy man as well, or like a? I'm I'm a cleric, like I said, of of Maldrod, of Maldrod. but yeah. uh, just I. <laughs> so this is getting kind of awkward, there, man. Yeah. Awkward. You're not used to waiting. Don't worry. Spend enough time with a cleric, eventually you're gonna have to learn. Kind of just kind of chuckles to himself as he takes another. No, I'm just. Why? Like, Are you offering death. to come along? No. Mo most things get awkward when death is involved, and I'm not used to uh, death. Uh, but... eh, no worries. I, okay, I'm enjoying the fact that for once he is incredibly awkward, just kind of like, ah. Uh... Yeah. Uh, he, he shrugs, he's like. I've seen too much death to find it awkward. It's just more... More the people that I work with that see death more often than I do. I can't <laughs> imagine what it's like to see death every day. As he's, like, staring off into space. Right. He, the gnome shrugs. He's just like... Come on. We need to get out of the somber before we get even more dressed. I see you. He, he, away a little bit. He, he, he's not he watches like you. Yeah. But as as Weeping Bell says that, he goes, oh. He just takes a good, like, four steps back. <laughs> uh, you, your, your feet crack against one of the headstones. You, you don't trip or anything. It's just you, it's very loud and it's n noticeable. But no one, no one moves to stop you. you just, you're able to move back. He's not leaving at all. Course, he's just taking it. He's just dissing him. Uh, Weeping Bell, once you hear that noise, is going to look up and his pupils are going to go into, like, a little slant, like, huh? Like little, <laughs> little, uh, little dots. Yeah. Just, I hate to be the one to offer, but maybe we should leave the graveyard and go get something to relax us all, because let's yeah. be real, if we're going to solve this problem, it's not going to do well to do it depressed. Yeah, that's a... Uh, he picks himself up that's and kind of dusts his legs off. Unfortunately, the kids are in the tavern, so drinking might not be an option here. Uh, if you get him to sleep fast enough, you can drink something. I don't... I'm, I, okay, look, look around me. Mm. Do you see my pet? No. Can you tell where it is? With the kids. They're probably not asleep. Oh, trust me. If he's upstairs with them, you'll still be able to get some eggnog. <laughs> oh, you know what eggnog is? Excellent. I don't have to explain it. Thank the gods. I don't <laughs> know fuck! Don <laughs> metagaming slightly. <laughs> Gnome says fuck. Uh, no, Gnome says fuck as he hears uh, Batalin just like, I don't know what that is, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Weeping Ghost be like, eggnog. I don't think I've heard of such customs. Uh, <sighs> Do I have to roll to say I've heard of this? No, that's oh, something that God. that's something you would have heard of before. But you he, you just hear him say "fuck." Just, all right, let's 
No, no, no. Don't describe it to them. No, no. I'll, let them I'll, taste I'll, it. I'm going to let them taste it. Trust me. It have alcohol in it. Oh my it's God. Can I roll to see if I like it, it or not? It. You're not there yet. Okay, no, but when I get there. Yes, when you get there. It can have alcohol. It doesn't always. Don't worry. Ah, uh, trust me. We're having alcohol in ours. <laughs> I'd rather it not. I, I, I drink on uh, occasion. But we only save it when I had a rough day. Uh, How old are you? I'm just sorry about the thing. Which one of us? You're, th that, that is a very vague question. I can't see where you're pointing Giant right now. human. Oh, it's the big guy. The Batalan guy. Gotcha. Yeah, Batalan. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm 26. Millie's eyes, like, widen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the what? blinking gift, like, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> what? You're much older than you look. He's a big guy. I, I thought he was, like, 30. Then again, I he was, was age 18. weird. 26 yeah, sounds like a fair age. I would have assumed uh, that. What? I was they do. Supposed to, I was supposed to leave around the age of 25 to, to go adventure, but I uh, got caught up in some business. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah, you, you, you live and you learn, you know. Things, stuff, Come on. whatever. We'll share our story when we're halfway drunk, or at least well, two of us, because I'm not sure if these two do. Eh, if they, they don't, then they don't. Five out of ten on pain scale. I only drink like when it is a uh, three out of ten at the word. Yeah. Don't you worry. drink when you're in pain? Isn't that a bad idea? It's yeah, generally a bad idea, but at the same time, just let Zuvor take well, care less yeah. of you. When I'm upset. Ah, 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 emotional pain. Yeah, yeah. Today, not that bad of a day. I help people. I'm happy. He's such a big salty. Jesus Christ, I love it. I character, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I feel so strongly. If anything happens to him, I'm going to kill everyone in this room and then myself. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do with this! <laughs> uh, but with that, as you guys are heading back to the tavern, I'd say that's a good place to call the session this evening. Okay. So you guys had your, your first town, you gotta have some fun, and then you gotta it have was some such combat. The, that felt like such a somber yet sweet story. What the fuck? Sad. <laughs> I love yeah. everyone so far. Everyone's so sweet and good. I tried making my most wholesome character so what far. What a wholesome but I think what? I think I did it. I think I succeeded on my did. wholesome. You he, did. he is such a good boy. He is a good son. Um, can I roll to see if uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of that alcohol? Not gonna have a lot, but can I roll to see if I like the taste or not? I'll let you roll before we start back up next week. All right. Um, we're not next week. D D20. Not next week. Not next week. Just Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, just a regular old D20. Yes. We gotta wait two. You gotta wait two it's... more weeks to see how good this wholesome boy is again. Yep. Uh, it's a little <gasps> rich. Uh, maybe a little bit too much for your taste, but at the same time, it's it's decent. You can still like it if you want. It's just a very rich taste. Uh, <laughs> all you guys here when he first takes a sip is just. Oh, I just <laughs> want to see how much self control she had. <laughs> uh, Not uh, what? No. <laughs> She's fucking crunk. <laughs> She just really likes eggnog, bruh. <laughs> she likes her nog. She likes the egg and the nog. The egg and the goddamn. Uh, but I love it. I love our characters. I love Weeping Bell. He good boy. I love, uh... I already forgot his name. Batalan, good boy. <laughs> Millie, good girl. The Drake, best character. <laughs> 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 you blep. You My favorite character is the guy that ran away. <laughs> I, I was, I'm really proud of. Uh, I think that was a good character choice that I made with that. At least. You did. Yes. You did. I feel like it works well with everyone. Maybe I just wanted it to be like this. Ep I feel like you got to see a lot of Batalan's character in this one. I you feel like you got to see a lot of Weeping Bells too. Y'all yeah. just yeah. Y'all asked questions, and he's not one to lie. So. That's just, this is just a start, obviously, but... Uh, We're well, all just a bunch of good boys and gang. Yeah. yeah, like, this is what we need! This is what we need! We, we, we deal with, like, so much shit in the... Joining, don't come in and fuck... Yeah, what? Don't, don't, bring, don't bring the edgelords. Don't bring no, in the edgelords. You, you It'd be a shame if a... Edgelord came around. You heard me absolutely... What, what, what is her absolutely... Hey, 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 hey. What? Chill. 
I'm just we'll get to that. I will get to that. <laughs> it's a goof and or gaff. I'm aware. Gaff? I'm aware. But what with is that, gaff? Uh, it's another type of goof. Um, but with that, uh, I think that's a great place to call this recording in the stream. Uh, thank you everyone so much for coming out. This has been an absolute pleasure to play with these fabulous people and to be able to provide more content. And even though this one is bi-weekly, I'm excited to see where this group goes as much as I've seen my Wednesday and Thursday groups. If you guys are not already, uh, you can follow uh, my Twitch at Uncommon Guru, where I stream Wednesdays starting at uh, 4. The actual session usually starts around 4.30. And same with Thursday. Uh, Thursday, actually, I actually have two campaigns going on. The second one I am going to be uploading to my YouTube channel as soon as I get a good picture to actually put it on. Same with this mm -hmm. one, but I will be trying to post this as soon as I can. Even if I don't have a good image for it, I will be posting this either tomorrow or on Christmas Day itself. And in the meantime, happy holidays. And to you people who are watching this in the future, hi! Thank you for watching! You're beautiful! I love you! <laughs> I love oh, you, beautiful God, future Merry, people! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Crisis. No. Happy, happy Crisis? Merry <laughs> Jesus birthday. Happy holidays, happy, everyone. Happy, happy Monday and Tuesday for those who don't celebrate. That's why I say happy holidays. <laughs> bye -bye. What if they don't celebrate a holiday? Bye! Bye! bye. bye. bye.